man. Everyone gets oh, to be yeah. on webcam but me. Sad, Ewan. We managed yeah, to get come one on. session yeah, okay. there. We magically had literally everyone on webcam. Even Benji got a webcam for the first time in like 10 years, 12 years, maybe even 15, I'm not entirely sure. Did you realize you'd gone too far at the initial and then just leaned into it? I kind of, no, I wanted to go bigger. <laughs> and I was like, I started too small to go bigger. So I just kind of petered out on like a kind of pathetic number, really. No phrasing, my dude, just phrasing. So let's do, let's do some reminders from last session, shall we? Uh, Creed ratted out young Nicholas. Yeah. Roll. Every, that, everyone, that loves, <laughs> everyone loves young Mondrico. I don't remember what that was in relation to. Oh, Mondrico. Creed oh, yeah. wants to acquire cybernetics. Ollie and Creed wish to argue over who gets to be in charge of the armory. At the moment, neither of them. You escape the planet. That was quite low down on the list, really. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we wouldn't have needed reminders if, 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 if we wouldn't yeah. need reminders. You'd that be had surprised. Time. I don't know if you remember what things were like before we had the reminder system, but like... <laughs> It was half an hour of arguing over what the hell happened the previous session and what exactly, we're doing now. And, and usually all of that was wrong, including on my um, Mackie yeah. wants to set up a display of his trophies, and Cusco wishes to unswervingly reinforce the sergeant. There is an unspoken in public in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, only in public. In private, fuck that guy. So I believe a lot of you have been retired aboard the Obsidian Heart, and we'll do a time skip of about a week which means everyone's had expert medical attention. You can refresh all of... And you've... No, it wouldn't be fate points, would it? Yeah, this is a vampire. You're going to get fate points back like that. Um, <coughs> excellent medical attention, uh, we, so... Uh, we, we get a full refresh because we've gone through a major combat encounter. As per your ruling from previous yeah. previous campaigns within this system, major <laughs> combat encounters in, incur full fate refresh. I mean, I'm a full anyway, so... Bah. I'm going to put myself back up to full because Benji's reasons. I, I, it's the last live, session. Live by the precedent, die by the precedent, Ewan. No, not at all. I am an autocratic GM. I can change the precedent immediately here and now. No, everyone gets fate points but Benji. In fact, distribute <laughs> Benji's fate points amongst yourselves. <laughs> this is canon now. The Emperor hates you, and I can have him say it in character, too. <laughs> you know not what you do, Ewan, for I shall lead you to ru ruin. You know I can do it. I love the idea of just Benji getting a vop in the middle of the night as the Emperor Hank just calling up and like, what the fuck? You're stuck. <laughs> em Emperor's just like standing over his bed in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> no one walks. walks. <laughs> I I like, always no one will believe you. you. No one will believe you. Yeah, I'm stuck. And right. he just walks out. <laughs> no I'll be taking my fate points anyway, because obviously, otherwise I'll start disseminating my hidden character creation things to Creed and others. Why would I care if you disseminate hidden character creation things? Like, because there's ways I can derail campaigns. Because well, you're going to derail the you. campaigns anyway. <laughs> yeah. <Like. laughs> You think any of our campaigns stay on the rails? I mean, <laughs> have you heard of Sour? We have rails. You play with three other power games. No, no. no to be fair, <laughs> young Nicholas, Sour was not derailing the was not derailing the campaign. Sour was the train it. crashing into the station at the last minute. It was the bad point. ending. I, I, I hate to, I hate to ruin this for you all, but uh, from my point of view, as the person who got to use all possible content endings for Thower, you technically multi-track drifted the rails of that campaign. Like, it's the exact opposite of derailing. You derailed You're yourselves. overachieving. Yeah, but you didn't, you didn't really fuck me. And, and as for everything else, I've been doing improv campaigns mostly, by and large, for like years at this point. There's very little you can do that I'm not quietly resigned to already. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Like that. Yeah. Apart from down the warehouse, that one really did throw you. I mean, it did. I had to take a little break, but we ran with it. Like, what are you going to do? Kill all your plot hooks? Sure, go ahead. I'll fucking roll with it. You want to be outlaw pirates? Like, <laughs> oh, I would like suicide. You fucking knock out, ground knock out my... Nils and like two days before sacrifice the backup quest NPC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what do you think you can possibly do to me that you haven't done to me already? <laughs> well, just looking <laughs> at the campaign, twats. giving giving Creed and Young Nicholas a collection of Wallace and Gromit themed admet characters. I mean, it's so. <laughs> 
I advise people play. I let Sophie play a lizard, uh, centaur, caveman in Black Crusade. Who so, was sorry, you'd be, you'd be fine. You'd be fine with young Nicholas playing Wallace the Dark Mechanicum. So every time he sacrifices the dark gods, he screams cheese grommet. I, I okay, I mean that would this, be amazing. I mean this oh in the God, least yeah. in the least sassy way possible, but there is no bad character you can come up with that is as bad as the names Ollie has tried throughout the years. <laughs> like genuinely, I I have I don't give uh, I I don't care honestly if you want to be a dark mechanicum um, grommet. It's not as bad as Richard Danger Bulge. Oh for fuck! <laughs> I knew that was going to be the one it's, that came up. That fucking admiral. Uh, that one was but, actually pretty good. By all things. No, considered. it wasn't. No, it really wasn't. <laughs> Everything was a dick joke. <laughs> exactly. The entire, the oh. entire like first four or five were dick jokes of all those ship names, and you ran out of dick jokes. Anywho, point being, like. <laughs> I don't care. Thing. You want to play Wallace and Gromit, you play Wallace and Gromit. I've more power to you. I played Shaggy from Scooby Doo in a dramatic FBI game. Forgot you did that. Yeah. <laughs> Worth the- oh, quick, quick one, Ian. Am I allowed to have kept my souvenirs even though I exploded? Pretty uh, I'll pick them up which, for you, don't worry. Which souvenirs? Uh, a pocket watch and one of their weird knives. I mean, oh, melee weapons aren't destroyed, so the knife is probably fine. The pocket watch, I expect, is not functional. Like, that will have melted. But you can have the fused lump. I like the uh, idea of you having, like, a fused pocket watch that just is just there on your breast. It's just now. burnt into his chest now. Yeah, you can always tell the time, because somehow, magically, thanks to the Emperor, it works, even though we don't thank the Emperor. No, the Emperor's not magic. Things. And if nothing else, I feel like any commanding officer will tell him, get that pocket watch out of your armour. Yeah, well, I mean, we're already I'm planning off that I will not ask you to take it out of your armor. (laughs) I play all of the Legion command structure. Also, yeah, Yeah. (laughs) did you hear the quiet mutiny in his voice there? (laughs) I'm a note of mutiny. Pace. Yes. Yeah. So. I'm still a bit split on the fate points thing. I don't give that much of a shit, but I'm not establishing it as precedent for the future for record. Uh, for the record, like that wasn't a mechanical combat encounter. That was a, a campaign. I'm not giving you a full fate, fru- uh, full fate refresh like every post session. Otherwise, you'll just have lots of fate every post session, and that's- no, it wasn't every post session. It was major combat encounters, which I took the entire like running combat thing as one major combat encounter because we were in a freaking war zone. Yeah, in that case, this would be every post session you would get those refreshes, and I, I'm I'm not setting that what? precedent deliberately, but you can have it for now if if you particularly want it. Uh, I'll give myself one extra as a compromise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that smile just like yep this is gonna fly I, I, I feel like Creed maybe went up to full fate <laughs> no no two or three so that's completely thrown me now what was the fucking what the fuck was I talking about before fate drama how the hell do we know uh, reminders question mark I think yeah, we almost finished, finished the reminders. yeah I think we, we finished, finished the reminders well then so Nimpas, uh, well, it was a good session this week, folks. Uh, I'll see everybody next week for campaign two. Uh, no, we need to do the we need to do the election this week, if nothing else. Uh, oh yes, that's where we're at. We're at. There's been a time skip, and as I yes was about to say, time skip about, of about a week. The Soul campaign is still ongoing elsewhere, but your Legion has pretty much earned some R and R. Uh, I've done a little bit of reading as well, and it looks like the legions aren't at literal top strength at the moment, which makes sense to me. So they're they're not at the like eighty thousand, hundred thousand bracket that many of them will reach. They're a lot of them more hovering around between eight and twenty thousand, uh, which really recontextualizes Legion Six's losses. Yeah, holy fuck, they got wrecked. They really. How, how did. many did they lose? Um, I think it was in the thousands, like three to four thousand. We said six thousand. Six thousand. There we go. Yeah, it was a lot. Uh, well, yeah, exactly. Fuck those guys, but they are baying for literal blood. Uh, it's their fucking problem. We told them to. We told them to bug out. And it's it's resulted in a little bit of a tense standoff in the fleet, uh, even repositioned as it is now over Terra. Those of you who required medical attention, you can consider all of your crit damage to be healed and your wounds restored to full. Uh, cybernetics, oh. permanent ones, uh, cybernetics or regrowth haven't come through yet in either case. Um, so you've got like 
temporary prosthetics for the time being, but it's it's nothing special. They just do like your basic basic stuff, and they will be changed, or you'll get fat grown replacements instead. Uh, I thought I may end up having to follow Quattlemox around like a cup with a sippy straw or something because he ain't got his arms. <laughs> He's got one arm, doesn't he? <laughs> one arm, because the whole joke was we sent uh, him up to help Mordrico, so yeah. it was the one-armed yeah. man helping really man work. with the same missing arm. Well, plus he was blind at the time. Yeah, also that. <laughs> we'll, uh... yeah, we were blind at the time. That's why I, was it, that's why I went up in the end to help. It seemed like one such a good idea at the time. Okay, wait, who's lost any body parts? Is it just is it just Quattlebox? Okay, so <laughs> Quattlemox, we'll leave it up to you then. Uh, do you want to have like basic orcs so you're f- for the moment, so you're restored to basic functionality, or do you want to have like a temporary, I guess, peg leg and eye cloth? <laughs> uh, give me the peg leg eye cloth. Well, you got like a C and I mook. Uh, yeah, well, you can have a menial, absolutely. So you've got your beloved menial Seb Excellent. fingers. <laughs> they call him Eyes. Eyes, the medium. <laughs> He's a bit more hands on than thumbs. He's calf. And in the week, I mean, <laughs> I think it's Creed's choice. Well, it's not really sorry, Creed's choice. It's who wants to who wants to call the menial what? Do you want to call him? Do you want to be calling him calf or legs? No, because he's got one leg remaining. Oh no, he's got both his legs, right? Yes. I yeah. thought he only had it blown off below the knee. No, I don't think my legs are good. Yeah, so sorry. Like, so he doesn't have a. You don't have a peg leg. They haven't amputated your leg just to fit. Oh, okay. You've oh, got, he's like, got a peg arm. Yeah, <laughs> well, you've got like a, a non-powered. <laughs> well, we had thumbs. Why not fingers? An arm. I said fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love the, like you've got like this crutch long arm now going down to the floor, even though you don't need a crutch, but you're using it as a crutch. <laughs> I heard crutch. <laughs> yeah, I heard crutch as well. I like, also what? heard crutch. <laughs> I have a crutch long arm. The old. <laughs> Arms not reach your crotch. Arms are supposed to be able to reach the crotch. No, I have tiny T-Rex arms. So in the week or so since the uh, Venusian campaign concluded, quite so dramatically, a few things have been happening. One, the fleets have separated by Legion. Legion 6 is baying for blood. They are incredibly incensed that someone fucked up and got something like close to half their number killed or well significantly over a quarter close to a third close to a third of their number killed in one of the opening campaigns and what a ridiculous waste that is and they are <laughs> savages at the best of times I, clearly it was their improper command structure well, clearly it was their ability to not listen when we tell them yeah this thing's sinking you should probably bug out and, uh, and I mean, this is the thing. Legion 4 is uh, denying responsibility. Legion 2 is denying responsibility. And you're acutely aware that your captain doesn't seem to have informed anyone uh, of, of what happened with your objectives. In fact, you have uh, been, not you specifically, but your entire ship has been soft confined. Captain Yatakao is not letting anyone off of the Obsidian Heart. Uh, let's check in. What's what's everyone been doing for the last week? Those of you who haven't been going through like crippling medical uh, <laughs> issues. Uh, as well, as soon as I got healed up, you know, I was chatting to the orderlies, and then I just been trying to make small talk with the serfs. Gone up to the bridge a few times, been like, "It's a nice couple of buttons you got there." Yeah, you, so so. you are unusually not allowed on the bridge. You certainly were on the way over. Oh, I will be running. I will be running training scenarios. <laughs> I'm gonna. They're uh, professionals, yeah. damn it. I mean, professionals, and I have the professional ability to talk as well. <laughs> so I need to practice that. Cool, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm going to be reviewing uh, all of our footage from uh, the uh, from our deployment and seeing how we can improve on it. And we'll get back to that in a second. And Cusco, what are we up to? Uh, going through training manuals for uh, Medicaid stuffs. Okie dokie. So in order then <laughs> oh, and I was making my, my my little uh you know display case as well for my trophies in order then mackie i will take inquiry over fellowship at a at a minus 10 please cool so i've got that basic feature got that basic train so net plus zero 
my dynamite up, I am gonna spend a play point. Let me just change over to my name. Uh, I do not make that, but I also made that with only two degrees of failure. Cool. Yeah, no, you, you sort of get the feeling that a lot of the chapter surfs seem to be... Talking behind your back is the wrong word, but they seem somewhat more awkward than usual. And yes, they usually seem awkward. Or oh, company surfs, rather. We should be using grand companies, really, I think. Chapter is weird to me. Um, but yes, the, the company surfs are... Uh, cagey around you. Cagier than their usual terrified selves, as your superhuman attempts at socialization tend to intimidate. But you otherwise notice nothing else amiss. Koya. Can I get awareness perception, please, without your armor bonuses, uh, but otherwise at a plus zero. Is it a sight test? A hearing test? Uh, yes, sight or hearing. Your, your organic bonuses apply, so I think that's a plus ten, right? I think so. Yeah. So, 65. That's four degrees of success. You. It's me. I took perception. You know that. <laughs> notice throughout your training, I'm very surprised throughout your uh, training drills, that although your squad is basically entirely absent, of course they're not here training, why would they ever be? Uh, <clears throat> chapter, uh, chapter, company menials are not. In fact, you see more than a few sort of eyeing you from across the uh, large training chambers. They look like they're doing work of some kind, but at the same time you get a, a, an odd sensation, a fishy feeling about them. Do you say four DOS? Yeah. Benji? Yes, I said yes. Uh, yes, and then in that case, on one occasion you make like awkward eye contact with them when they were very clearly been looking at you and then return hurriedly to their tasks. Next up, Sergeant Nazim. Or, uh, as other people in the company have taken to calling him, Nazim Cloud Killer. For the stories <laughs> have spread. God damn it. <laughs> or at least they do for the first couple of days, and then they seem to die back a little bit, and you're not necessarily sure why. This may be to do with the fact that you are having trouble accessing your squad's uh, cam footage. <laughs> it was Can definitely. Over... Mine? Sorry? Can I at least val evaluate mine? <laughs> I'm referring to the squad as a whole here. Your armor okay. would have been turned over to the Admech, at least initially. And the response that you get from the Admech is that there, there are issues with the files, basically, is that they're corrupt and maybe unusable. What is... What are you doing here? God. Um, I, I'm sure I, I get that information back fairly quickly. Yes. Uh, they sort of fob you off for a day or two. Um, so it's after, it's by like the end of day two. Okay. Uh, I'd like to write down as much as possible and then try to review it and run it again and again in my head and think of different ways we could have done things, uh, different situations, things I might have missed. Okay. Cool. I will take a Scholastic Law Principia Bellicosa. Okay, cool. Um, can I, like, if I'm trying to plan this out and thinking ahead of time, can I use Foresight? So it's spend 10 minutes and I get a plus 10 for thinking it through. <laughs> Fucking psychery bullshit. Uh, you've got to, you've got to cast it, right? Uh, no, no, no. It's just a talent. It's you just plan something ahead. It's like thinking something through. It's like I'm gonna. I need this information here. It's like I make like a table sort of thing. I'm, I'm planning out how oh, I'm gonna I stand this. directed. Yes, you set out color coded uh, grim dark Excel sheets to help you. <laughs> Breaks out the crayons. You gotta really get like a mirror board set up. Cool oh, mirror. Get some of that test rail in there as well, just because did the t did the team complete the task successfully? Cheeky, Block. cheeky test rail. Yeah. Uh, trained is just standard. Sorry. I'm gonna fake that. Get under. And process that. Still no. fails. Um, do I? Can I? Can I fake again? Uh, yeah. What do people feel like this? Do we want to do the like? You can re-roll forever, or one re-roll and then you're done. One re-roll, then you're done. And said no. I made my campaign poster. I, I, like it. I immediately saw it, and I kind of, I yeah. <laughs> Sorry, are you campaigning on a platform of changing the armor color that you, that you suggested. suggested? Not even suggested, that you chose. It was the one yeah. thing. Like that, that's like unfortunately a little, um, I'm going to say, uh, ambiguous, because if we all just vote me, then like... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I even like pointed an arrow at myself and wrote best. Surely. Uh, that's just the armor color you want to go for. That would be. <laughs> that's yeah, me. Yeah, don't what, the armor. what armor color are you planning on changing the uh, armor to? Uh, uh, to something else. <laughs> Like, just invert the pink and the yeah, yellow squares. Exactly I immediately I went, that was yeah. where my one. <laughs> Fucking monkey's poor Creed. Okay, so yeah. Creed, I will vote for you if you agree to change the colour scheme to white and gold. Sure. <laughs> he's a politician, he's going to go back on his word. He is a politician, he's going to go back on his word. But I have plans of my own. Anyway. Well, no one's noticed the fine print on the poster yet. Okay. You? Uh, that's one doth. Have a look. And run a lose ship. Did I write lose instead of loose? <laughs> oh, I did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, lose ship I mean... isn't a good ship at all. <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> Recall the posters said by me. <laughs> 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 Just, like, blasted all over the ship, terrifying the ratings. <laughs> <coughs> oh dear that's a right lung you got there it's not right fuck's sake um, where were we at yes so your attempts to write things down sort of you're doing your best here right Nazim but yeah. there's like a nagging feeling at the back of your mind that something is wrong and you're finding it incredibly distracting next up was <coughs> So step up. Uh, no, nope. ne- next up was Kuzco, I believe. Kuzco, could I get... Do you have Medicaid trained? Yep. Cool, in that case, could I get Medicaid... Medicaid over willpower, please, Kuzco. Yep. For a reason. Hey, um, oh, is it at a plus ten, or is it a base? Hey, let me have a way to work, see. No, it's just a base. That's only a degree of success. <laughs> Only a degree of success, but still. Though you are able to keep your concentration, you find yourself harassed, or not quite harassed, but certainly interrupted more than you would like by the company serfs as you uh, study in the librarian. They don't seem to be, they're not sort of poking you directly, but they're, they're hovering around your space a little bit much, almost as though they were keeping an eye on you. We'll say it's the end of the time skip by the end of, uh, by the time. Um, it's sort of, yeah, sorry. Like, um, can can I, like, notice that they're, like, hovering around me, and then I'm going to heavily air quote, make use of their presence, and make them run and get books from the highest shelves possible in the most dangerous parts of the librarian? <laughs> Maybe you should be the politician. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh... Carl for leader. As with all Ooh. chapter serfs, rush to obey your commands. And yet there always seems to be more. Damn, this is failing. The squad is meeting up in their quarters for the triumphant after the end of the week for the triumphant emergence of uh, Coatlmox from the Medicaid ward. Bearing his unpowered, articulated wooden replacement hand thing for the time being and <laughs> with his uh, the real Terran wood. Uh, this close to Terra, sure, yeah. Nice. I'm keeping this. <laughs> uh, is there any wood still on Terra at this point? That's a very good point. I mean, they can be. If you give me a minute. God damn it. Hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's wood acquired from somewhere. And uh, you've got in attendance your uh, helper, Surf, Seb. Party, what do you, what, what festivities do you have planned for Quattlemox's recovery? I don't know. I was going to suggest a nice trip to the, uh, the training pits to check out his new augmentics. Yeah. Oh, they're not quite augmentic. Oh, is he, uh, is he gone regeneration? Or I, I thought you were. No, he's, 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 little, he's not got anything yet. He's got uh, a, a placeholder wooden arm. Yes. Ah, right. And uh, and a an assigned chapter a chapter company uh, surf. <coughs> he'll he'll get augmentics when you get back to Terra, basically. Um, I don't know. I hadn't thought about this. <laughs> So uh, I, I'm the boring one. I just read books. Coatlmox, you arrive back expecting some fanfare and and walk in on all four of your squad mates, completely nonplussed. You know they're not really doing anything. Uh, Nazim is reading a book. Koya is transparently getting ready to go off training. 
Cusco is in his rooms doing something also. And Mackie is what are you doing here, Mackie? In fact, Mackie and Cusco, we have no strong thing for you. What are you what are you doing that's completely underwhelming the I am the putting the finishing touches to my display. I am carefully adjusting the skull of the Lithia Golem. And as uh as uh he walks in, I'm just there like brother. And then I go back. Just to- Hello, brother. <laughs> Single nod, the best you get. What's Cusco up to? Deep in meditation. Oh, I like it. Okay. In that case, I'll just go straight to my desk, put my uh, souvenirs in a little chest, and then start polishing my chainsaw. Brother, would you care to travel to the training pits with me? Oh, why not? Go on. I had some thoughts about uh, mounting (coughs) bolts to the wrists of our armor so that we may carry (coughs) more weapons into the field of battle. My eyes suddenly shoot open. I concur, brother! (laughs) <laughs> and my, my head kind of comes to my door I'm just like hmm you, you don't have separate separate cells I'm afraid it's it's a, a communal oh. barracks I turn around got, like little paper, paper walls up <laughs> yeah just the paper yeah. walls are so we just hang a sheet brother what do you think of the idea of heavy bolters on the wrists they might be I heavier I think that we would need terminator armor for such a thing brother ah I mean, this is a thing right now yes yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Company. And before that, they were heavy, it was a heavy industrial, like, like, fort. They're, nu- they're nuclear radiation fallout suits. The Ooh, company that? surf uh, turns turns to you, Coatl Mox. Is, is that wise, my lord? Oh, I'm sure it's fine, but you do have to be my eyes, remember? Uh, I, I <laughs> am concerned, my lord, you may temporarily lose your senses if things were to go wrong. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yes, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... It's like, he's been informed. There's been some real dumb shit. Just go with it. <laughs> he, uh... He sort of glances around the room a little bit and, and then... <coughs> leans improperly, conspiratorially close to you, Quattlebox. My lord, may I... May I speak freely? No. <laughs> now let's go to the training chamber. <laughs> Wait, is it anyone else, or are they getting a bouldering vibe from this? Uh... Slightly, yeah. Twins <laughs> like one a plot hook, one a plot hook. You're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like the little humans. <laughs> he uh, he clams up and, and gets ready to follow you to the training chamber. Shouldn't he be the one leading the way? <laughs> He should be. He should be. Probably, yeah. <laughs> but I get the feeling that he's not going to be. Okay, squad, what do? I'd like to be uh, putting forward my proposal to the rest of the squad that I hope to take to the higher-ups of the Legion so that we may enhance our combat prowess. The rest of the squad, from the sounds of things, is profoundly, apart from Cusco, is a pa- a profoundly disinterested. Okay. Mate, I'm just going to buddy Christ. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, uh, <coughs> um, on a slightly different topic, I suppose, Nazim, the, most of the rest of the squads, uh, other than the other ones with uh, someone in deep medical care, have already begun this process, but the uh, informal tradition of electing a uh, squad leader in, amongst the Legion has, has already begun and gone uh, gotten well underway amongst the assorted other squads. Of, uh, I believe you were fourth company, right? Uh, uh sounds. O one, o two, o one, o four. Let's have a check in my notes. Uh, the o two, o one, o three, o four. Yeah. So you're the yeah you're the third company. <clears throat> yes. So you're you're slightly behind, and now that you have Coatlemox back on the uh, back on the cards, handing out flies. <laughs> Amongst the squad, the uh, the chapter surf desperately hopes that no one notices that he introduced typos into the flyer. That his uh, uh, it's been corrected. Don't worry, but he gets updated surprisingly quickly. The old campaign <laughs> poster. So yes, you you are sort of honour bound by chapter tradition, chapter tradition, company tradition, legion tradition. In fact, to uh, offer your place up for election amongst the rest of the squad now that they have completed their first combat drop. That's fair enough. 
Um, <laughs> God, RP. <laughs> I can't RP a space ring, God damn it. Um, what, it's literally <laughs> session six. No. I've done I, I've as little RP as possible. I don't know if you've realised or not. No, you've been yeah, doing well, fine for RP. Um, ah, I'm, my head's just not in the game today. Um, I, I'm going to follow them all to the... Uh, I, I, a fair few people going to the... Um, two. Two are going to the combat training? rooms. Two. Um, so the, the squad's going to split if, if you don't uh, yeah. sort this immediately. Fair enough. Uh, I, I will. Um, before you leave... Um, oh. And I, I may join you actually. I think I'll do some sparring. Um, but it is a uh, tradition, tradition uh, of course, um, after our first deployment, uh, that I offer up my position as squad lead. <coughs> and we vote on who we feel should lead us next. Yes, started by the uh, the older Marines in the course of the Unification Wars. This is uh, considered to keep the Legion's <coughs> meritorious base strong. <coughs> Ballots will be in-character anonymous, cast into a pot, and read by a neutral party, presumably a slightly terrified Seb. I've put my uh, my voting poster, my new poster. In, uh, so there's two ways we can do this. You can either vote, uh, we'll do like open <laughs> votes in the Discord, or if you'd like, we can do everyone spoops a vote to me in Roll20 and I'll just read the results. Boop. I wish I'd spent time making a poster now. Jesus Christ, guys. You can, you can I, campaign I do not on have, not a poster. I, I, I do not have the Photoshop skills to make a poster. I like that in MS Paint. I do not have the MS Paint <laughs> skills to make a poster. <laughs> uh, I have my limitations. Okay, I've got one vote for Spoop. Any votes for Discord? What's everyone's, what's everyone's uh, goals as squad leader? I want to know what everyone's goals are as squad leader. Yeah, but let's, we'll do the voting thing. For, we'll decide what? what voting method we're going with first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vote. Spoop vote, Spoop vote. Okay, so that's three Spoop votes. You have Nicholas yeah. and Carl. You have... Okay, Carl, strong objections or C Carl? You might be muted. All right, yeah, it's tablet. Um, Every fucking time. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Look, the man need the man needs food. That's, that's fair. I mean, better than that than like breathing into the microphone. It's it's entertaining. Um, yes. Sorry. What uh, preferences, Carl? Spoop. Spoop. Cool. Okay, so that's by unanimous vote of spoop votes in in Discord. Then let's have a let's have a quick in character round. Uh, we'll we'll let the incumbents. Decide, young Nicholas. Does uh, in fact, sorry, Nazim. Do you want to go first or last for last. pitching yourself? Last, okay. In last. that case, do a completely random order. Let's pick Mackie. In character, pitch yourself to the squad. If you would like to be squad leader, why? If it's someone else, why should they? Brothers, I would like to be squad leader for the simple reason. Bullets get the job done. More bullets get more jobs done faster. I propose we have all the bullets. And we get the jobs done fastest. By following our hearts. With our guns. That is all. Okay, that's, that's Mackie's pitch. Uh, is that likely to get you killed? <laughs> I don't know if a bolt is technically a bullet. It's not, it's an explosive... Uh... I mean, I thought it was an RPG, right? Essentially, yeah, it's a yeah. gyrojet rocket. Exactly. Either you way, can... it's once following your heart, I feel... Uh... I don't know, depends. I mean, remember, you're still driving Legion character, so... I've got some broad trends that I'm going to, going to go with so far, but, uh, you know, maybe. Uh, next up, should we have... Let's have Koya. If you... I am elected, I shall lead with professionalism, and I expect the same from you. We shall prove ourselves to be the best Legion. That's all. He made a noble stand, knowing that someone had to have principles. <laughs> <laughs> Coatl Mox. With me as leader, we shall surely engage in the most glorious of melees. No matter what, we shall be guaranteed glory and opportunity. And Cusco. You might still be muted, Carl. Yeah, sorry, I'm swapping back to PC quick. Oh, no. That's fair. Okay. <coughs> Brothers. It should all be reflected upon what has been. Make note that the current brother sergeant, Azim, not only stood bravely with his arms down the throat of those construct fucks, but also <laughs> bravely took the rear guard to protect our evacuation from the um, 
I, I don't know what it was called. So they yeah. ran away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When we made a tactical withdrawal. <laughs> I believe he should be given the opportunity to learn and improve from his mistakes as command comes best with experience. Uh, yep. Okay. And so we get round to Nazim. Now, Sergeant Nazim, your entire squad, all five of you, have been gathered around the ceremonial voting bucket, chits in hand, ready to cast them in. Everyone has stepped forward in turn and given their speech about why they should have your position. Now, why do you think you should keep it? I am proud to be your brothers. I am proud that I can stand beside you in battle. We have no need to prove ourselves to anyone. We are the greatest legion. There is no need to prove it. All our battles shall be bloody and glorious, for that is what we do best. No matter where we go, we shall strive to win and conquer all. Now, I have shown you what I can do. I hope to improve upon it. If I am voted, I will endeavour to improve and help you improve as well. And by God, it will, uh, by God, <laughs> no, it's not going to be said, by the Emperor, he can I? <laughs> <laughs> He's a filthy by genius, you heard him. By the Emperor. <laughs> Is it, by the Emperor's okay, yes? Uh, yeah. Perhaps a Good. bit passionate, but it's fine. And by the Emperor, we will strive to glory. And you step back. Everyone begins scribbling on their chits. I will take spooked votes in either the Discord or the Roll20. Either way it works, whichever one you're confident with. Oh, I haven't done a Roll20 whisper in ages. Oh, is it a roll twenty twist? But I thought it was just uh, Discord. Uh, either either way works. You can message me on Discord or you can roll twenty whisper. I don't mind. I've got both. I'm less likely to fuck <coughs> up uh, a roll twenty. <laughs> I'm, I'm more likely to fuck up a roll twenty whisper. Sixty percent turnout in. <laughs> if we get a tie for all of us, that's gonna be fucking hilarious. Is everyone that just would, voting for themselves? Is, but that would assume I, that everyone's voting for themselves. I can see people doing that. <laughs> I, 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 us, uh, is this pirates from, like, you know, the Pirates of the Caribbean voting? Vote for myself, vote for myself, vote for myself, vote for myself. Okay. Terrified, Seb steps forwards and starts going through the chits in the bucket. One vote for Mackie. One vote uh. for Nazim. One vote. <laughs> Or <laughs> Coatlnox. Two votes for Nazim. Who got the two votes? Drum roll. Three votes for Nazim. Mm. <laughs> oh, <God>. Four <laughs> more years. Oh wait, what? <laughs> the sergeant has retained his position. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Do you, uh, <laughs> do you have any? Do you have any uh, a speech you'd like to give, you, Nicholas? Anything you want to say to your squad here after they've they've shown you pretty decent confidence overall? You don't know Actually, who yeah. your supporters are as you scan over their faces and the burnt <laughs> I, I, I smear, can guess. <laughs> the burnt smear where uh, Coatlmox's face used to be. <laughs> All of us are just wearing our helmets, but none of the armor. <laughs> just the helmets. <laughs> No, I said um, faces. No, uh, you're not wearing your armor. In no, fact, I, you can't. I, I, your armor is still uh, off limits to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't we have like robes? Yes, you're wearing <laughs> <like, laughs> <clothes. laughs> I'm just like a space marine in a checkered robe, like a silk robe <laughs> in our colors. So it's like pink and yellow. <laughs> It's, it's like, you know, like the smoking jacket sort, where it only yeah. barely comes down to your thighs. We all look like Hugh Hefner, but yeah. our both. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have you know, I'd like to think I look like Noel Coward. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're no Coward. Someone uh, has broken into my toilet. Um, so, yes, any any speech, Nazim? Anything you'd like to say? Even a couple of simple words. Thank you, brothers. I appreciate your support. And... Um, Together. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> As the squad begins cheering, Seb, Seb gives a little, like, woo in support. Not you. 
<laughs> you, must, you must let go of this hatred towards the auxilia and the serfs, brother. It is not helpful. <laughs> the serf hangs his head in shame. <laughs> I turn to serf. I turn to serf. You're a serf. key and useful part of the legion. You are accepted here. Ignore. Ignore. No eyes. <laughs> he can't see sense. <laughs> Quattlehawk's blind sight smiles, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it sounds like three of you are going off to the sparring rooms. Yes, I, but, but like I said, it was mostly to try and engage them in my idea of uh, wrist-mounted bolter weapons. Or, uh, well, all Volkite weapons. Us, get us involved with that idea. <laughs> that sounds like an well, you, see, you see, brothers, if one was to use a boarding shield and a melee weapon. For we are space marines. Astartes, are we not? And melee is, of course, our desired end goal. We must prove <coughs> the superiority of our tactics and our skill at arms. One finds oneself unable to use a ranged weapon. You could use a bolter, but that would require drawing and undrawing it, slowing the charge home into the enemy's ranks. But if one were to, ho- one were to host on the arm... The right arm or the left, depending on which arm was used to hold the boarding shield of the Astartes, of our power armor, then we could fire as we ran. Meaning we could keep hold of our melee weapons and thus not delay the charge, glorious as it is. Hmm. So we could fire as we charge into glorious. Exactly, melee. brother. <laughs> ah. It keeps us versatile. <laughs> Flicking through books. This actually sounds <laughs> plausible. Yes, <laughs> it's significantly more. Diff- just so you're aware, you're Nicholas, it's significantly more difficult to aim a gun with your wrist than with your hand. Well, I said plausible. It's, I did not no, say I'm not saying you either. can't do it. I'm saying there is a reason that people don't. Yes, <laughs> it's plausible. There is a reason right? people don't, but equally, it is only if one was using, for example, a boarding shield. So, the three of you were discussing this on the way to the training pits. And find yourselves near an Admech Shrine as you go. In fact, the Admech Shrine, where oh. the uh, uh, where your armor is supposedly being repaired, you can overhear a harsh screeching uh, from inside. I'll head in. Pay my respects to the Mechanicus. Uh, still Mechanicum at this point. They uh, they have not become a uh, member of the Adeptus yet. I'll pay my respects to the Mechanicum. Then. I would like to inquire with the. Uh various adepts about my idea and the feasibility of mounting it. Uh, I'll stay outside so I'm not crowding out, uh, crowding it. I'll just stand, stand by the door. As you approach, Mackie, I will take an awareness over perception check at a plus 10, please. This is a hearing check. Uh, sorry, not Mackie. What am I talking about? Quattlemox. I muted myself for some reason. What was the roll, sorry? Uh, awareness over perception at, I think I said a plus 10. All right, is this not vision based then? Like yeah, it's vision. hearing. Ah, oh, then I should get the other mods as well. Well, you don't have your armor on, so you don't get the helmet mod. All right, so we just get the it. The heightened senses is hearing and sight. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm one off. <laughs> oh no! Wait, really? What is your perception? Yeah. Like a uh, thirty-four. Oof. Oh, well, my dumps on the old stat rolling. <laughs> I've got a couple of them. <laughs> That's atrocious. Yeah. Can my career actually buff perception as well? Let me have a look. You might just be locked into this forever now. And uh, you, you can uh, buff your characteristics. Yeah. Oh, but it's like a slightly expensive price for my class. Uh, yeah, it depends on uh, which specialization you've gone. Yeah. So, you miss most of this. The only thing that you really catch is that whoever's in there is talking about your armor because you overhear the appropriate serial code. Everything else oh. is just screeching and, and harsh words. <laughs> uh, ah, by Narek Kant. Got do I it. speak that yet? You do not. Oh, I'd put it on from my uh, starting skills. Oh, I maybe you do. I didn't think you did. Uh, I start well. Um, tech marines start with technolingua. <coughs> uh, 
fair, but you haven't been through the training yet, right? So yeah, I don't really know how it worked with our skills and things. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you'd have technolingual. I'm afraid. No worries. But uh, but yes, what do you're sort of a second from entering the portal to the shrine? I'll still just enter as normal. It's fair. I have innocent intentions. With uh, Koya coming in behind you and your Sergeant Nazim dallying outside. The second you enter the Admech behind the counter, a uh, withered little Magos uh, whirls to face you and then rears backwards. Hail, brothers of the Mechanicum. I've come to pay my respects. <laughs> 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 what a friendly old man. I truly have yet to master the proper etiquette of your people. <laughs> I'm so tempted to give them dumb voices. I don't know quite right. <laughs> Do it! Do it! Your voice has only Do just it. recovered from your doing it. Bloody I think of it. The Admet can be calling people Outlander the entire time. They wear masks as well, so you can do the old. I'm not doing Athis again. <laughs> <laughs> not again. <laughs> you know you want to. <laughs> what do you want? Well, to say hello, really, pay my respects. How's everything been going? The uh, wizened Admech sort of whirs gently under his cloaks. Everything's been going fine. Wonderful. What's uh, what's he doing here? <laughs> he gestures at Koya. Oh, I'm not quite sure. Then makes like frantic, <laughs> slightly <laughs> obvious gestures at a, a nearby menial. Oh, I am. I came to inquire about the feasibility of mounting small caliber bolt or volkite weapons to the arms of our of our power armor. Tech heresy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a thing? See. Is that a thing? Like, absolutely is. Mode. It makes the Imperials extremely uncomfortable because the Admech are openly religious, but you quietly <laughs> ignore it because you need them. I would I would suggest, sir, given that these suits are <laughs> younger than we are, that perhaps they could be modified given they were designed not so long ago. I, the, I step uh, away like towards the Admech. The Major slams <laughs> his hands down on the table, incredibly unintimidatingly for someone of your size. They were not designed. They were illuminated. The Omnisire's perfect designs were revealed to their creator. I like uh, trying not I along with him. defer to your knowledge, <laughs> wise one. But equally, could the Omnisire not illuminate you as to further perfections in the design? He folds his arms very dramatically. No. <laughs> <laughs> Both like forgive and hate forgive me, mate. Forgive me, Magos. Is this or is this not Mark II power armor? It is not on you to reveal the Omnisire's intentions. I did not suggest that it was. I merely suggested an idea that might lead to one of your own sacred band to the illumination you so desire. He sort of does a, a harsh, repeated screech, which takes a moment to register as laughter. It is certainly not on me. This occurs at a grade far above your meager experiences. I'm just going to say, when I'm chapter, when I'm uh, running my own grand company, I'm going to have this guy spaced. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will keep him. He will be mine. Like, <laughs> me and Creed are going to fight over him. Like, we will protect him with our lives. Muscles. I'll have you spaced at the same time, then. You won't die, and he will. I'll just have you recovered. You'd need to win an election first. He <laughs> mutters under his... Especially running on your latest pillar of, I promise that we will not be shit to the company of shitheads. Um, <laughs> he's obviously going to say... Uh, he, yeah, he's sort of muttering under his breath something about outlanders and inwas. He shuffles a stack of, of papers very emphatically and, and obviously. Now, unless there was anything else, the shrine is closed. He presses the button and a nearby sign blinks on, illuminating <laughs> closed. Oh, I see. Well, I plan on signing up to be a tech marine, so I look forward to working with you closely in the future, friend. <laughs> so <laughs> <head> <laughs> <laughs> this drawer just chop. <laughs> just... yeah. I'm wondering if that sign counts as the Omnisire's illumination as well. <laughs> so mad at you, Carl. He, uh, he again does the sort of mechanical barking laughter. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, well, uh, 
I look forward to a long and fruitful career with you. Wonderful. Phil Scram. 100 years later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, oh. he uh, told you to get out of his shrine. Yeah, I'll head up. That's fine. I'd just like to turn to Coatlemox as we leave and just whisper to him, that guy's going to have a fit when uh, they, he hears that they develop Mark III armor back on Terra. <laughs> <laughs> so you continue on down to the training room and uh, and find it basically empty what do I'd like to begin training okay in fact um, what do on everyone's parts here what is what are your intentions right now like long term what do you all want to be doing are you just waiting to get back to Terra no, but I, I want to improve my, my, my physical prowess. I, I feel like it's something I've skipped on a little bit and I'd like to uh, spar with Kwasimox if he, if he will Sure. Coatlemox the blind man. Yes! You just start with an easy target and work your way up, right? Seb. We're, we're, we're just giving him painkillers and he can see, it's fine. Just yeah, uh, Seb, have you got any of the painkillers? He, he uh, <laughs> opens up a, a small satchel filled to the literal brim. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> like, the dark pits of your eyes just start glowing. <laughs> right, are these addictive painkillers? <laughs> They've probably That's got some pretty decent right. anti-opiates. Is this going to be like the Chaos Gifts way to get Creed? <laughs> Hold on, no, no. It's like, it's like Creed's entire fucking... <laughs> Don't shout uh, Legion, whatever, whatever. Like, everyone underneath him. It's like a dick like surrounded by deists. Obscura, Obscura is uh, basically just heroin. So, yes, it is addictive. <laughs> yes, highly addictive. Um, in fact, it literally was heroin. They changed it for in the original drafts to avoid ratings at the time. <clears throat> yes. So, more more generally than this specific training session, like, what do you want to be doing on your your way back to Earth? Are we sort of all just just passing the time casually? Uh, I'll be annoying that admet guy quite frequently, trying to learn bits about the mechanics. Um, what I think is the duct tape or the forty first millennium's equivalent. Duct tape exists. All right. I would like to be. I would like to be carrying out my training, uh, whilst also making use of a boarding shield. <laughs> having taped a bolt pistol to my arm to my arm to try and simulate my idea to see if it can be taken further. <laughs> you are actually running into issues with that in terms of I don't think you're allowed. To, yeah, you the uh, the ad mech are just openly refusing you being allowed to check anything out from the armory. In which case, I would like to go to Captain Yatakau and complain that I am an Astartes. I must train myself you to attack are... the enemies of mankind. You... How can I do that without weapons? You are not allowed on the bridge. <laughs> Uh -oh. Just stand outside, banging on the door, shouting the whole time. <laughs> you can do that if you'd like. I mean, I don't know why. Am, I allowed, to, am I, I allowed to send messages across to other ships? No, actually, you are also, when you look into it, banned from the Vox network. I don't know why your sergeant's looking surprised. He was also banned from the bridge and, and just right. went, I guess it's <laughs> fine. Are we on house arrest? <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, so Koya, you uh, you come back to the the barracks to find everyone sort of assembled, having a good time. Generally, like just oblivious to the world, having discovered a couple of mildly disturbing things in quick succession on uh, you know day nine of the slow voyage back to Terra at firmly sublight speeds because fuel's rationed. What uh, what do? In which case, I would like to ask. Quattlemox, who is skilled with these sort of things, to lay hands to ma any material he can. Uh... He can get his hands on to build me facsimiles of Astartes' weapons. That sounds like something that will get me banned from Tech Marine School. Look, we're already <laughs> being prevented from training, and we are goddamn Astartes. Now, I feel that if Quatermass, we need to be spending our time doing something more, brother, more useful than reading it. books. Uh, that is that is news to the rest of you. For the record, the ban from training. Ban. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps we should start a barber shop quartet. Uh, Quintet. Uh, it's classic lore, war. <laughs> Are we being like court martialed sort of thing? Like, we, 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 it's quite obvious at this point that we're being like barred from any communication. There's something going on quite I mean, heavily here. If, if you extract that knowledge from uh, Koya there, then uh, yes, this this would be entirely contingent with a uh, court martial. <laughs> What's I'm asking? Uh, yes, no, I'm saying that you don't even need to roll a law on that one. Oh, okay, we're being court-martialed. Court we're being what, a, brother Captain? This looks incredibly <laughs> like you're being quietly court-martialed. 
with angle marshaled. Seb, did you know about this? Uh, he, he nods. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to sell me? He, he nods, still aware that he's not supposed to talk. I would like uh, to say what? that Seb is nodding. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You can speak freely now, Seb. He, he uh, sort of looks between the three of you and then... I, I've, I've heard amongst the medials that you're being quietly court-martialed. It feels a tad <laughs> redundant now. <laughs> yes, yes. We, fi- we figured that out. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, so Seb. Given you are now, given you and the other menials are not banned from any networks, I would like you to take a message to Captain Yatakal that I wish for an urgent meeting. He, That's uh, my guide dog. God, he, no, brother. He, he sort of, I, I, I feel this may be a poor, cor- a poor choice of uh, course of action. His, his eyes oh, why? flick down. Oops, sorry, yeah, Nicholas. <laughs> We're already being quietly court-martialed. I, I feel having strong words. Um, <laughs> the captain may uh, end with us being loudly called. Write up. him a letter. Yeah, may, like, may, may uh, cause more issues than help. <laughs> what, worse, what worse could they do? Court martial us and throw us out. Oh wait, that's what they're going to do. Thanks to you. Seb, uh, you do not evict space marines when you court martial them. For the record, um, Seb Seb raises his hand. <laughs> Are we, are we just going to ignore that? Well, they're hardly going me. to send us on a penitence crusade, are they? They're no. mostly just going like to put bolt shells in our skull and kill us. Wow, well, I think I think I think Benji just threw hands. I no, I'm just like I'm stunned. I'm just I, I didn't I didn't get this at all. What? <laughs> so Benji just said we're getting court martialed because of you just after Nick had spoken. <laughs> There well, you did kill point. Venus. <laughs> uh, that whole bit, that whole thing. Seb's, Seb's hand is still, That's a is still, strong assumption, is still <laughs> raised as you argue. Is someone oh, going to yeah. let me know that that hand's free? Uh, just to clarify, they've come back to the barracks at this point. Yes, this is after all of the training and stuff, like days later. Exactly. Well, they, they I suppose they tried to go training and then... They would, oh, have been, yeah. they would have done some like hand-to-hand training, terrifying Seb, and then we'll say Koya went back to try with weapons and his... Uh, Gaffer tape, forty void, <laughs> okay, right. voidy gaffer tape, and um, <laughs> a, a boarding shield the next day, and and um, had his issues and, and traced all this. Uh, yes, sorry, uh, yeah, I, I mentioned that his hand is up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sir, that order to speak freely was permanent. Yes, my lord. Um, <laughs> I, I was instructed by Captain Yatakau to uh, keep an eye on all of you. You're probably not supposed to tell us that, sir. No. Um. <laughs> no question. Well, I do Sam, appreciate what it. What exactly were you supposed to do about it if we resisted? Uh, I wasn't supposed to do anything. I'm just supposed to report back to Captain Yatakau. But yes, exactly. Nakila, my, exactly my point. Been... If we took it badly, what exactly were you supposed to do about it? I go squeal. Yes, exactly. It's hard for corpses to squeal. Well, we don't just now, go around brother. killing people, brother. I yeah. know we don't. I'm questioning the logistical issues of sending a menial to look over five space marines. <laughs> but, Seb, brother, if I, any I, of your I, fellow I menials quite... give you shit, we will kill them for you. <laughs> you now the party problem. He, he, I don't think I was the only one, uh, but Brother Mikila Totek has always tried to make me feel like a, a part of the squad, so I, I, I thought I'd you know. It's appreciated, Seb. Much appreciated. Loyalty is important. Loyalty like is one. important. I, I, I pat him on the back of a firm hand. I don't <laughs> like even know we've met you before. He bruises basically immediately. Yes, no, I, I've been your personal menial throughout most of basic training. I thought they changed you out all the time. It's been the same one. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to step in so between, uh, between Benji and Nick. I turn to the brother sergeant. Brother sergeant, the uh, and I turn to Koya as well. What is happening here? Words were thrown. This must be addressed. We cannot be allowed. We cannot allow to let this fester inside our squad, lest it reduce our operating effectiveness. Reduce our operating effectiveness. We are banned from any and all activities that would actually make us Astartes. We might as well be Ponzi nobles stuck on terror. Well, no, you are still allowed in the training chambers. You can just only fisticuffs. Ah, exactly. uh, yes. The greatest weapons of the Legiones Astartes. Gene Forge, Slayers, Champions of Mankind, 
punching things. I'm sorry, to quote you earlier, everything we want to do is to get into melee. What is wrong with training with melee? Generally, when you rush against the foul Xenos, the hordes of hordes of the orc, the depredations of those who are in the Dark yet. Knight, you are holding a sodding weapon. And once um, you've I would like to hordes, pipe up and say, and lost your knife, what you left with? Cusco lost pipes up. Instance. I will give you that. In that situation where somehow I have been disarmed of all things, that I should somehow rush in to try and take fisticuffs against the horror that has disarmed me, as opposed to tactically withdrawing to get another weapon. As the argument as say. the argument continues, Cusco pipes up. Oh, like there, there are too many things that I want to say about this. Like, unfortunately, the time has kind of passed for it. Um, but in brief, um, the things in our hands are merely tools, for we are the Emperor's weapons. And if you were properly disarmed, then you wouldn't even have your hands! <laughs> <laughs> Seb, Seb well, brother, of... do you not remember the Emperor's own speech that, upon I terror? I want to put a pin in, the, in this argument that's going to happen now, because it's going to last another, It's going to last 20 minutes. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, yeah, like it, sounds, forward, it, it yeah. sounds like Mackie, yeah. Mackie steps forward there, ready, ready to you know come back to this at later uh, later point because exactly where on your body the emperor's weapons begins, perhaps the arm bone <laughs> is is a vital thing to discuss. <laughs> but um, but yeah, the, the, people with the, the bone shard, the impending court, <clears throat> the impending court martial and quiet execution is potentially more time sensitive. Yes, I'm just going to go back to meditation and hope this all blows over. And uh, and and the captain who you would like to reach, per Seb's comment, is the one who has set surveillance on you. <laughs> what um, do you... I suggest we uh, there is not much we can do in terms of contacting him. What happens will happen. I suggest we wait until we get back to Terra and receive our orders, whatever they may be. I doubt I'm... there is much we can do right now. The... I, I'd like to start. Sorry. I was going to say the two slightly more veteran ones amongst you, uh, Nazim and uh, Kuzco. Uh, I think everyone else, this was your first combat drop, right? Whereas Nazim and Kuzco yeah. would have had some mild, mild service in the closing battles of the Unification Wars. Um, and I think both of you would know that that's not really how the nascent Imperium necessarily deals with things. Justice is more about public image than it is about justice. Just sweep it under the rug, yo. With that in mind, um, I'd like to, as I have a classic law and war, I'm assuming, assuming the uh, rules and so forth and repercussions and possible um, oh, what's what I'm looking for? Um, it's Actually, hard, isn't it? Con consequences, but like things you can do to uh, appease certain things and so forth. Um, can I try to like form some form of defense for ourselves at least, uh, slash other ways we can repay our debt rather than being executed, basically? <laughs> you, In order to form a defense, you would need two things. One, some guarantee of any kind of fair trial, which yeah. is unlikely. And mm -hmm. two, some kind of evidence. And you handed over all your evidence to the Admex Shrines. So weird that when we shot that guy, the city started falling, but I don't think the two are related. <laughs> <laughs> now, at the time, there was no evidence showing that he was keeping the whole thing afloat. The, uh, the thing that does occur to you, potentially, wise sergeant, is that if you are being swept under the proverbial rug by your own captain, that might be something that your captain is doing, but not necessarily the captain on a different ship or of a different We're banned, We are banned from the Vox network, as you might note. Only when asking for it. Now, the likelihood of us being executed, I'm assuming, is fairly high at this point. Depends on your trust in the uh, sort of justice and, and uh, good nature of the nascent I mean, imperial justice system. We are but If we want to put it out there, if, <laughs> if it's just an execution... And sweeping under the rug, they could have done it at any point this far instead of just keeping us alive and qu under house arrest. That's true. I think we should all just be on our best behaviour. I'll go visit my good friend the Admin. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him up. I'm gonna if we're going to sneak onto the Vox network, we should probably try and contact the the uh, captain in command of Mondrico's unit. He certainly would vouch for us. It's true. Um, Seb, as brother um, Cusco did rightly point out, if they wanted to sweep it under the rug and execute us, it would have probably been done by now. 
Do you know how severe our punishment- Sorry, sorry. That's that's nothing. Your. Huh? Hmm? If you were about to say how severe our crimes were, it was your crimes, not <laughs> We've our We've been punished as, as a squad, therefore it's us. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we democratise our failures. <laughs> I should have shot you in the head and left you to die on Venus. Socialise our failures, mate. Honestly. Brother, just... please, this is not helping. You make some extreme comments, considering <laughs> we're being watched, brothers. <laughs> in- <laughs> I'm, I'm asking. I'm purely asking Seb. This is the only controversial thing I've, I've asked. I think is how severe is our punishment looking? Do you know? He he shakes his head. I've 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 no idea. Um, but why in the hell would they tell a menial? Now, Seb, I, mean, I, I, I I've I've only overheard. Uh, I've I've been on this ship and serving the Legion most of my life. <laughs> I'm going to sort of uh, slow down to Seb. Um, I ask him, I say, Seb, I have a task for you. You've always felt like you're part of the squad. I've always tried to include you in feeling like you're part of the squad. If there is no squad left for you to be a part of, that's a sorry situation for everyone. Not one I would wish to happen. Is there any way you can find out from your fellow serfs how dire our situation is or is not? And then report back to us. I can try. Uh, I, I don't know to what degree people might be watching me as well. Try and keep it subtle. Just things you overhear. Maybe no direct questions. Subtle. Right. I can I can do this. <laughs> I, uh, I I tell him, I, I really re- try to reinforce the point. Don't ask. Just listen. Listen. I look at, I look at him with a very discouraging smile. Just like... <laughs> uh, I'd like to, like, just crouch down as well, um, quietly, just run through, like, a few quotes that I, I know from, uh, like... Inspirational speeches, or, or like, like uh, uh, examples, like in books of like examples of how to be like subtly like uh, get information from people from like right, war Nazim. books and so forth. Uh, Nazim, I will take command of a fellowship, please, at a plus twenty. With a fellowship, <laughs> can't have int, can I? No, Remember, you get another plus ten because you got it basic. Uh, no, I think it's just plus zero, right? Uh, no, uh, command is basic, so it's plus ten. Yep. Yeah, it's, right? it's the advanced skills which are untrained, so that's a plus zero or a minus yeah. twenty. No, yeah, it's a minus. Yeah, so it's zero. Oh, it's zero. Yeah, so it's yeah, a zero. Yeah. It's not really a start plus, 10. plus ten. You start at zero. Yeah. Zero, ten, twenty, thirty. Cool. And I can't have it over in because I'm going over logical things. No. No. Okay. This is this is a dramatic, one. inspiring flair. I'm gonna fate it. <laughs> if you get a one, then that's not a one. <laughs> Oh. Uh, uh, fuck it, I'm spending all my fate on this. I uh, think you voted on this earlier, and it's. I never did. Yeah, what's your doff there, young Nicholas? Oh, it's pretty bad. Um, Is it uh, four doffs? Probably more. Uh, three. I was looking for fifty, fifty-seven. Yeah. So it's not quite four. So it's three. Oh, okay. So basic, basic skills. Um, they. The characteristic gets so basically advanced skills. You're not allowed to do them unless you've got a tick in them. So yeah. uh, you're straight up just not allowed to attempt acrobatics. For example, if you don't have if you have a ticked and untrained, you yeah, can't. I think we can't. were running it that way already. Were we? I'm not entirely sure. I feel like one of us did. Um, yeah, doing advanced is like working like the regular skills. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think that makes sense for some stuff. Honestly, I'm okay for that being for things like uh, demolitions. But, but even then, I guess really that seems a bit. Unfair. No, because I um, remember I wasn't allowed to wrangle and things and stuff. I can't yeah, remember what I tried to wrangle. Uh, that's because it wasn't uh, befitting of the skill at the time. I, I you try to do something. I, I, yeah, I think it was just that your wrangling would have been like a one or under, uh, or that you were trying to use another sk- like ground vehicles for wrangling. And I was saying no because wrangling is its own thing. Uh, okay, so basic skills you do at a plus zero, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well yeah, that's that's three doff. Three doff, okay. So you send Seb off, but you have very little confidence. He seems incredibly jittery. He will be back in hopefully a few hours with more information. In the meanwhile, you have established that you are under house arrest, pending court martial and potential quiet death. Squad, what do? Other than uh, Koya, who seems extreme, well, no, including Koya, even though he does seem currently extremely bitter at what he seems to regard as being caught up in his sergeant's mess. Mm. I'm just going to keep being a good boy, visiting the shrine, trying uh, to learn some chance to repeat. 
I want to uh, attempt to contract Mondra- uh, attempt to get into the Vox network so we can contact Mondrico to get a how we say good ear to our case. He's more likely to vouch for us. Do you have any tech use? I don't, but I was going to help rec- try and recruit some of the party, namely the party that has tech use. That is Do I actually have my tech use yet? You can ha- yeah, you'd have tech use, I think that's fine. Okay. We've established that you're a hobbyist. Do you do you have your tech use do you have a tech in it? Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have to be like, now connect the blue wire to the red one. <laughs> 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 okay. So, you're you're gonna try and get Coatlebox in on your scheme. What's everyone else doing? Do I know about the scheme? I mean, that depends. How obvious are you being here, uh, Koya? I wouldn't have said I've been particularly obvious. I think, is, is it fair? I'm keeping a bit of an eye on him, because I know he's a, bit, he's, he's a bit of a wild card right now. Yeah, I, don't I, know don't, if that... I, I think you you can see that they're, they're sort of talking about something off at one end of the barracks. Okay. I would like to approach them. Koya, you hear the sergeant coming up behind you. Let's just double check in on Cusco and Mackie. What are you two up to? Meditation. Okay, uh, Cusco still meditating. He went back to meditating earlier, so he's just continuing. I'm going to see if I can find anything that uh, I'm going to do some reading on heavy weapons of the Imperium. If I can get anything out of the out of the libraries, if I'm allowed access to them. You have access to the libraries. Uh, yeah, I would say, especially a book like that, you're 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 gold on that front. So you you sort off to the library. Yeah, I like to sort of train up my scholastic or demolitions maybe whilst I'm at it. So, oh, treasure, I suppose. Yeah, because we were, we were funding it after this. Yeah, yeah. But it's the free one, so I just going to click change it to something else. So, Koya and Coatlebox, or Coatlebox, you're being talked to by Koya when uh, he freezes up for a microsecond as Nazim approaches. The three of you, what do? Pee it out. No. Oh, hey, old brother sergeant. Hey, old brother. Brother sergeant. Um, I'd just like to say that. Maybe we shouldn't do anything rash until we hear back from Seb and see what I would just like to laugh Seb. at that statement. <laughs> Indicate the two like sweaty footprints where Seb was standing before he left the room. <laughs> Are you sure that's sweat? <laughs> now, brother. Any information is good information. Even if he comes up with nothing, <laughs> at least we've I would like to laugh harder. Sergeant, are you going to let him laugh in your face like that? Especially after him just throwing constant shade at you in the meeting just then. Now, brother, I know you're stressed and you're worried. As you said, brother. But there's no need. More information is good information, and let us not do anything rash. I seem to remember saying something distinctly similar to you right before you shot a man in the head and killed a world. I'm stepping out. (laughs) (laughs) Creed does not like conflicts. <laughs> I'll go back to the Admech Shrine. Uh, I don't it. like conflict, but uh, Nazim's not standing down from this. Um, it's literally the fact that you're telling me it's like, no, we should wait and see and see what, how everything goes. You've seen the exact same things I was saying to you on Venus right before you shot that guy in the head and different. killed the world. <laughs> now. Technically, you shot him in the chest. <laughs> I thought you shot him in the head. My mistake. Brother, I know you're worried, but there is no need for this. You, if you really wanted to command, you've tried to take it, and you have failed. The squad does not appreciate it. <laughs> now, I, I request you stand down on this. This is not appropriate. And all channels, you're going to get us all killed at this rate. Now, <laughs> I'd like to laugh at that a third time. Daniel, bravo. If you, if you wish to stop me, brother sergeant. Clearly... It doesn't uh, work. We're going to have to have some, like, respect each other talking a little bit, guys. The RP's great, but, like, wait for each other to finish. That's all right. I thought you had finished. There was a slight pause in my uh, stream. I think it was... I think I lagged slightly. That's fair. It's, it's, it's not a criticism. It's just, a, it's just a, a note. Etiquette. If you wish to stop me, Brother Sergeant, perhaps you would tr- care to take me on in the fighting pits. Brother, I have nothing to prove to you. Fucking if you really down, want to do anything stupid, by all means, do it. But do it without us and involving the rest of your brothers. That way, if you're least if you're caught, it's you that suffers and not the rest of us. The image of an irritating little Magos who you have no love for flashes in front of your mind, Koya. Perhaps there are other routes to acquiring tech-savvy help. He doesn't like me, though. That's the problem. <laughs> that's the real issue. Otherwise, I'd be there now. 
To think you were assigned this legion, one that prides itself on trying to be the best and won't even take the chance to prove it. Oh, not to set you up to rob me, but I have that force dagger, probably the only one left in existence from Venus in my locker, so that would probably make a good bribe if you stole it. <laughs> I don't think they were force weapons. You said it was no, some they were, no, they were, pa- they were power da- they're power yeah, daggers. Yeah, oh, that's what I meant. Power, like, yeah, yeah. I get power and force confused. But, uh, but yes. I'm just going to wait for, uh, for, for good old Seb to come back. I mean, I think you went off to the library, mate. I did. Uh, I did. So uh, your your sergeant's preaching at you that you need to calm down, Koya. You need to just take things less seriously. And yet, there's a, a, a vague, unsettling feeling at the back of your mind. No, actually, there's a boiling rage occupying your mind. I think we've all seen that. <laughs> but the unsettling feeling clicks into place at about this moment. Could you roll for me your Adeptus Astartes law at a plus 30? Uh, well, Ooh. I have... That's seven degrees of success. <laughs> Something clicks in the back of your head. Why wouldn't they execute you? And you suddenly think back to all the times you've uh, you've heard those rumours of the sixth, uh, the sixth, baying for blood. Are we going to be sacrificed? Just handed over? What do? There is no. I just like to be thinking internally. There is absolutely no way that the Legion higher ups would condi- would consent to such a waste of men and material. <sighs> if the Legion higher ups knew. But they don't, because you can't get the word out. Unless I could somehow get in contact with the Vox network for a friendly chat with Mondrico. Potentially. Uh, should we just double check here? Nazim, you, you've been kind of silently staring at him for a while. Are you leaving him to this? or? Uh, oh, no, I, I assume this is all happening in like a split second or so. Yes, it is. This is like a okay, yeah. moment of realization. Uh, okay. I'm assuming that's the conversation done. I am leaving it. I'm going to talk to Kawata Mox and instruct him do not aid, brother. Um, uh, Koya. 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 In whatever he wants to do, he's going to get us all killed. That's fair. So Quattlemox has stopped off into the corridor to go to the shrine again to harass people, and you sort of traipse out after him. Uh, which leaves Cusco meditating, and uh, Mackie has gone off to the library to read some books. So I guess, Koya, it's, it's on you. What are we doing? Hmm. Well, I need to get in contact. I'm still going to be trying to get Quattlemox on side. We need access. I need access to that Vox network, and I don't have the tech skills to use to use it. Mm. Do you have a plan for getting Quattlemox on side? I do. Yeah. Would you care to share the plan with the players? (laughs) 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 Or or are you just going (laughs) to? No. It is a secret plan. <laughs> well, let's Basically, my, my plan would be that I would uh, go to him and say, I will support your ascension in all officer things if you help me with this. The sergeant is clearly not fit to lead. Already now he dithers and hithers at a threat to his men. Oh, How will this get, help us if we are in combat? He did get three votes. You know, so, <laughs> some people not- do support him. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're anonymous, but it's right <laughs> around there. <laughs> yes, I suspect you're one of them as well, Creed. <laughs> oh, just, let's just, uh, just leave it. I, I don't even need to roll for this shit. It's just, let's just leave it. What let's is, just, let's just skip back if, to Terra and have our did, characters be killed, or come up a, with the random thing that will result in us not me. being killed. If, when you did approach me, what I was going to suggest is I've been instructed not to help you. But if Seb returns ever, then perhaps you mean you the guy who's him. also been instructed not to help us? Yes, yes, but he was probably easier to convince for you. Uh, you it doesn't matter. Be able to ask him go go to with go with box. some other people's stuff. <laughs> All right. Wow, like all all of his professionalism finally comes down, <laughs> tumbling down under the weight of his party's will to self-destruction. <laughs> <laughs> all the genetic enhancements in the world can't stop Koya's spine snapping under the pressure of carrying four other dead weights. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <sighs> 
<laughs> You're going to break them to build them back up, you see. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You've um, voiced your plan before, right, Benji, about contacting this man? Yeah. I would know what ship he's on, right, Ian? Uh, yeah, he probably would have said when he was because you know he seemed like a friendly right. chap, so he would have he would have uh, told you when he was well, it's not, up in the medical uh, Medicaid ward next to you. It's not helping Coy if I just do it all myself without letting him know, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Well, well, it's, it's, it's more. I'd, it's more. I'd kind of like this section of RP to be over because it's not really going to go anywhere. It We're sort of just like going to sit around until we just get back to Terra because nobody wants to do anything. <laughs> well, I was going to ring the guy and do your plan. <laughs> yeah, like, I, it's, it's not wrong. I do um, kind of believe there's a chance it will save our lives. <laughs> but I, I kind of want to do it. I mean, everyone else does seem to have independently come to the conclusion that it's it's fine. Everyone's a perfectly lovely, reasonable person, and I'm sure this will go well. Uh <laughs> So <laughs> right, roll up new squad characters. <laughs> uh, no, yes, fact, if you all died, that is hundred percent what would happen. In fact, if possible, I'll just the only the that our, that our, uh, <laughs> our legion has a whole group of it called the Martyrs who were killed by Imperial authorities and suspects this might be happening in our. Uh... I I want to I want to go and try and hook up a box network and then subtly tell Benji I think that one over there is working <laughs> and then run away. Please, <sighs> sir. <laughs> okay. Yo, Nicholas, I hope you know that when it comes down to the heresy and we pick a side, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter which side you pick. <laughs> it doesn't matter which side you kick, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I mean, if only someone had told us that we might be getting sacrificed. <laughs> Okay, what, we'll, what we'll do that in a second. But yeah, I don't think I could have been any heavier about telegraphing this this stuff. It's fine if you don't want to engage with it. I'm not the one who dies. Um, so, Koya has his his quiet confrontation with uh, with Quattlemox at the first available opportunity, only to be told with a like a blank party line statement that that Quattlemox supports the sergeant, and at that moment, Koya's Koya's will just it breaks a little bit. You know, he just he can't quite cope with this. He's doing Going his off best. to the training pits, and yeah. I shall be challenging all comers to fights until we get back to Terra. Exactly. He's he's not going to sleep. If he's going to die, he's going to get as much fighting in as possible before he gets torn to bits by rabid, idiotic Legion Sixers. I'll go uh, fight him in the pits. And uh, eventually he is joined by Mackie, who's nowhere near as pissed off and doesn't really understand the anger, presumably, but uh, is having a good time. Coatly willing to PvP roll this if you would like, Ollie. <laughs> uh, I, I'm fine just to speed through. <laughs> yeah, no, I think. Coatly could have joined. I could have joined the twelfth. <laughs> I was offered the twelfth. I was offered the fifth. But no, I had to choose the second. Coatly walks. It's been a day or so as you speed towards terror, and that that little nagging doubt in the back of your mind says, "Yeah, maybe maybe what if we do all get torn." limb from limb by the, the fucking nut jobs in the sixth. Maybe it's worth checking in, doing 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 something. And you, you hatch a, a plan to see if you can break in to the uh, Vox network and restore your credentials. This is probably going to be two rolls, Quattlemox, and uh, unfortunately unfortunately Seb never comes back from his recon mission. <laughs> 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 That's quite abundant by the by the beginning of the next day. Oh poor Seb. Nick, why'd you kill Seb as well as the Cloud District? Uh, <laughs> so let's have a look at your your relevant stuff here. Okay, so I think I will take I guess concealment over agility <laughs> to sort of sneak in somewhere. Hi. You know the shit. Any modifiers, sir? Uh, I mean, we'll say plus zero, right? Because you do the ship quite well, and the environments are, are quite constrained, so it's it's relatively. And you've got Seb's big bag of medication, so you can painkiller your way through this. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'll be three successes. I can with this. <coughs> Three successes. You crawl through the vents of the Obsidian Heart until you're able to drop down into uh, what you are aware, uh, what you've been in previously—a sort of a, a disused 
backup Vox array. It's subsidiary as all hell, but uh, you've what have, let's ch- check in here. What what have you been using this secret room for previously before voxing people? Practicing my mechanicus chance that I try and overhear when I hide around the shrine. Uh, <laughs> a mechanicum. One hundred percent don't want to don't want the rest of the squad hearing. Like they're all good space breeds. If they hear you chanting any of that theist crap, you'll get no end of shit for it. So you have a place. You have access to the, some of the backup Vox arrays. You just need to sort of force your way in and uh, put out a message. I think this is probably going to be, let's see, tech use test. You've got time to work on it, but you are technically one-handed. <laughs> like, cause it can do like, simple manipulations, but you have to manipulate the digits with the other hand, right? So... Mm. Oh, you're trying to peg it around. <laughs> I will take I will take tech use at a minus ten, please. Two. Oh, a failure. Oh, two failures. Okay. So the good news is you can get out one short vox burst aimed at at Mondrico, at the uh, at the other ship at his ship. In fact, the bad news is someone on your ship catches it. So. All right. You uh, in a sentence or less, Mordrico, comma. What do you What do you want to pass at him? Um, court martialed without explanation. Please investigate. Okay. And after that, as you uh, manipulate the the inner guts of this backup vox array, a klaxon that you've never heard before goes off in the room. Oh dear! As an unauthorized <laughs> user is detected. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Broadcasting the exact room ID code. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Just pegs it. So it's going to have to be through the vents, I'm afraid. Yeah. <laughs> Space read yeah. through the vents. He's going to be pegging it as well. And this is, this is going to be a bit of a tough one because you would know quite well this means maintenance servitors are going to be on their way to investigate promptly. <laughs> so you're going to. I will take... We don't have athletics, do we? Uh, uh, acrobatics, sorry. Of acrobatics. Yeah, it's be acrobatics then, I guess. We'll, we'll, and you can't, it's an advanced skill, so if you're not trained, you completely can't do it. Athletics just strength? Yeah, it, the athletics... It's I can think of. of. Contortionist is probably the closest. Do we have like, contortionist? Why, yeah, why, why does the freaking Death Watch have contortionist? <laughs> yeah, why the hell is... Wait, wait, wait. Why the hell is acrobatics... Uh, advanced but contortionist. <laughs> I would have picked the opposite. Maybe it, like maybe acrobatics is more like actual acrobatics than what we're used to. Yeah, and is contortionist just mean like how flexible are you? I guess. Yeah. Well, fuck it. it works here. I guess. Yes. Screw it. Okay. So this would be contortionist over agility, please. Sure. Any modifiers? Uh, plus zero. Perfect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You Two almost percent. run headlong into a servitor. Uh, into a, yeah, into a full-on duct servitor, crawling towards you. You can hear it coming. It's about to come round a bend when you realize that you're over... You, you can see you're, you're sat over a grating. And with a single almighty... You punch through and crash into the corridor beyond. Located directly in front of a sweaty Mackie on his way back from the trading pits... I, I would say that he's got Koya with him, but Koya has vowed not to leave the trading pits until he's called for death. I, I look as the as a giant human tumbles through the ceiling in front of me. Oh, hello, brother. Do you mind helping me uh, put this back up? <laughs> <laughs> It's like holding like the rails for a train going overhead. You just hack it there, servitor goes across, and then that's it. It's like, without word, I go and I push it up into the ceiling. I guess I I'm, like, like, I'm only several it's, inches I mean, away it's, from it's been slightly, It's been slightly wrecked. It got like emer- it got emergency punched by a space marine. It was a grating. <laughs> it's fucked. okay. In which case, I hold the broken pieces. I'm. You want me to do what, Karata Box? Just chuck them back up in there. <laughs> Get them out of the way. <laughs> so, uh, do I dare ask what you were doing in the vents? Oh, you know. You can hear the alarm uh, rippling through the vents at this point. <laughs> so very loudly, I suppose very forced, I go, ah, 
you were doing nothing whatsoever. <laughs> Would you mind like to take a look at my trophy collection? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> we were there all day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I really did that. <laughs> okay, and the two of you retire. Koya, <laughs> give me. <sighs> what do you want to roll over your toughness to see how well you take your fighting in the pit, Koya? Uh, uh, fighting style adept as Astartes. I don't think I don't think we have those. I think we, that was a cardboard we, thing, wasn't it? No, no, I think we've got. Um, I, I started his weapon training. I suppose it doesn't really uh, count. Yeah, it's a talent, it. not a skill. Yeah, you could just roll flat toughness, and we'll see how you do. Can I roll off weapon skill instead for you know fighting as opposed <coughs> to being beaten up? It's not how well you do; it's the endurance of it. Uh, we can roll both actually. If you like, we can do your weapon skill to see how well you do, and then we'll do your toughness to see how long it lasts. How about how about dodge? Why don't I just roll that like a sensible person? Dodge is fair. I mean, I, I asked you what you'd like to roll, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll take dodge. Dodge works. Okay, dodge over toughness then, please. Uh, that is two degrees. Two degrees of success. You vowed that if you're going to die, you're going to get in as many fucking punches as you can before the end comes. Do I want to roll the same because I was the one fighting him? Uh, you went down there to fight him initially, but like you, you okay. went down to fight, not... I'm going to die fighting, and this is the only fight I can get right now, fighting. Like, Gets in front of the court-martial, still punching. Well, yeah, so so you and, to an extent, Kuzco seem to be hoping for the best. Um, Nazim is putting his trust in imperial institutions to not fail him. <laughs> Nazim is sticking his fingers in his ears and going, la 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 la, I'm not listening. Nazim is, is considering everyone else to be as honourable as he thinks them to be, which is a noble, if potentially foolish, ideal. Uh, Koya has done everything he feels is reasonably within his uh, grasp without staging a literal mutiny, and, and so has arrived at this understandable death wish. You, uh, <clears throat> you are eventually, however, Koya, confronted by two marines. The surviving two members of your rival squad, in fact. So it was the 0305, right? 0304. Where the 05? No, because no, no, we're the 0304. Yeah, you're the 0304. So it's the... 0303, I think, yeah. The end of this is right. Yeah. Really? We're the 0201, 0305. Yeah, I've got it marked down as 05. Okay, well, it's the 05 now. <laughs> yeah, I know it on me. Uh, no, it's it's 04. Uh, just check the reminders. Okay. Oh, I've got it noted in my bio, it's 05. Yeah, same. If it's 04, then you've told us wrong at some point. I probably have, <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know what part of this made you think that I knew what I was doing. The 0 2 0 one 0 3 0 4 so, so that's us, right? To be fair, 04 does sound better than 05. I don't know why, but it just does. I, I, th- I think I remember being lower as well, so... With the choice between 4 and 5, I think, we went lower. Where's the... Do I have a fucking... Thing for your... it, it doesn't matter necessarily. Yeah, okay, so you're, the, the two remember, uh, remaining members of your, your hated rival squad in full armour and with bolters out find you in the training ground. Koya. <clears throat> Over there, loud hailer. Brother Koya, you are instructed to follow us and report to the bridge. You have now been fighting for, what was it, three DOS? Yeah. You, you have been fighting for three and a half consecutive days. Most <laughs> other people have abandoned using the training grounds because you you are basically not taking no for an answer and punching anyone who comes within punching range. <laughs> the menials have ceased cleaning the blood. <laughs> what do, Koya? Uh, I'll go with them. Might as well. You knew this day would come. I think- to think wastes of gene seed like that get to stay a part of the Legion. And, uh... And yes. You did at least punch a lot of teeth out. Several injured menials lie more or less plastered across the floor where they had fallen. In the squad barracks, the other four of you are found by, likewise, a uh, full squad. One of the more junior ones. Hello, brothers. Bolt is out. 
armor on, all of them. Sergeant Nazim. Yes. You and your squad are instructed to follow us to the bridge. Very well. I feel kind of insulted that, like, the juniors are in- like, escorting us. Yes, this is absolutely something of an insult. Brothers? In fact, it's it's the 20th squad. It is the juniorest possible squad. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I would like my inner rage noted, but, like, perfectly calm outwardly. Mm. You can feel it emanating off you like an angry heat. Oh, we noted it on the on the map. You're the O two or one or three or nine. And what? yeah, definitely not nine. It seems to say nine on the on the map. Nine? Where did you get? Where did it say nine? Yeah, never nine. You know what? It is definitely not important. So maybe I've just written it down wrong in a million places, and we'll just completely abandon this fucking squad numbering system. <laughs> There's been nothing but confusion. I see why it was never used. Well, at least two of us had O five noted down. Mm. I'm going to go back to 05. <laughs> Keep it. I prefer 05 over 04. There we go. It's in a recording. Uh, yes. Sorry, what were your inner feelings there, Kuzco? Like, absolute rage. But, like, outwardly perfectly calm. Understandable. You're one of the more veteran members of the company at this point, at least outside of the command squad. This, this is an absolute travesty. If they were going to do something like this, the least they could have done like, is shown some respect for past achievement. And so the four like of you are... Oh, sorry, Nizzy. So As we go with them, I'd like to, as best I can, even without Parama, Parama, carry myself in a way that's like, I've had experience, I am better than you, I don't need to prove anything. <coughs> you certainly can. I'll take, I'll take Intimidate over Fellowship, please. Just flat, yeah? Yes. Uh, internet, do I, have internet? I don't have internet trained. So, seven. Oh, it's basic. I just right? fail that. Yeah, they uh, they seem a little bit put off, but it's difficult to tell under the helmets. There's a slight muffled sensation, sensation, much slight muffled sounds picked up by your superior hearing, indicating that they are talking over their Vox network, but it's concealed from you. Okay. The four of you are marched to the bridge, arriving outside shortly after Koya has ar- already arrived. Shortly after Koya has already arrived? Shortly after Koya, who uh, lies, lies, stands somewhat sulking outside. Sulking and fucking reeking. Words cannot describe the sweat smell coming from his body. <laughs> Musky. The doors to the uh, gothic bridge of the Obsidian Heart open, and you are ushered on. Inside, several more squads flank the uh, large, gold-trimmed command uh, command room and console. Itself, a sort of bridge, a prow, if you will, set out over wider banks of cogitators, uh, crewed by dozens to low hundreds of menial ratings. Captain Yatakao, in full armour, sans helmet, stands at the uh, far end of it. And alongside him, not reclining, but sat, is a tall, what looks something like an army trooper out of armour, though they're a bit odd-looking. You are ushered forwards towards Yatakao. Follow? You? Yeah. The squad falls in. Let's just check in. He seemed... Oh, sorry. Carl? Oh, it was Benji. Oh, oh, it was Benji. Uh, yeah, I was going to say it's not like we've got much of a choice. I was going to was going to ask. Yeah, Koya, are you are you falling in line with your squad as everyone else marches up, or are you retaining your defiant posture? It's not like we've got much of a choice, so we might as well just fall in. Okay, you lived as a squad, and you'll die as a squad. May not be a squad you liked, but it was yours. <laughs> there are many like it, but this one is mine. As uh, as you arrive at the uh, at the bri- uh, at the far end of the bridge, in front of the towering, imposing form of Captain Yatakao, he eyes each of you in turn, fiery gaze burning into you. The usually easygoing captain, looking honestly the most furious you've ever seen him, and he was pretty irate after the end of the disastrous landing. Sergeant Nazim. I understand you made an unauthorized Vox broadcast. I, I, Koya. He follows your gaze immediately. Brother Koya, do you have something you'd like to say? Only 
the question of how exactly could I make an unauthorized com uh, Vox broadcast when I have spent the last three and a half days in the fighting pits witnessed by every damned Legion member on this ship? Uh, <laughs> Koya, I will take a speedy sight perception test at a, a plus... I'm going to call it a plus 20. Uh, awareness over perception, please, sorry. That's a perception... Well, I Jesus see. Christ. Right, I, re- I really needed that game. Didn't I? That <laughs> I needed that one. I needed that one to really get that. Not to talk my way out of this. Not to, <laughs> not to try and win a fight to one last fight. No, to see where his shifty eyes look. It's, uh, it's, not quite, it's not quite that, actually, I'm afraid. So, Captain Yatakao's gaze bores into you. Fierce. Angry. A primal rage boiling within him. But in the polished console behind him, at your comment of, how could I possibly have done it? I've been exactly where everyone's seen me for days, beating everyone up. You see quite a number of the Battle Brothers in line, flanking the bridge, nodding, a few of them clutching at arms where bruises have doubtless fought. (laughs) The captain's eyes. What a fucking time for a one. That was so tragic. <laughs> like I don't even know what I can do with it, man. I'm doing my best. No, here, there's but... nothing you can do with it. It is literally the worst. The captain's <laughs> eyes flick up to where he sees that most of his company knows that you couldn't possibly have done it, and he growls lightly at you. Nazim, explain yourself. Oh no! What have I done? <laughs> 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 Quickly, do, do I know if they would have any evidence on me? It seems like they don't. But could they well, have anything? Fun- funnily enough, someone is in command and doesn't have any way of saying he didn't tell you to do it. They might have a, um, I guess, a pick feed or something in there, hypothetically. But if they did, you would have thought they would have brought that up by now. Otherwise, the so- uh, uh, something might have caught you, or like maybe someone else in the squad secretly grasped you up via Discord. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I, I haven't been told anything, so. Um, um, it, it's, it's a, he's a captain, isn't he? Captain, right? He is your captain, yes. Yeah, captain. Uh, it's brother captain, correct? That's correct. Yes. <laughs> That's a tra- yeah, uh, brother captain. Um, how long has it been, sorry? Uh, uh, like nine days going on ten at this point. You're almost back right, in terror. Fair enough. fair enough. Nine days ago, we had a discussion, fairly heated. Let's see, and I wanted to check was, if Koya would, was, Brother Koya, wouldn't do anything rash. I, I advised him that if he was going to do anything stupid, to do it on his, on his own. To that end, I did tell Brother Kolatamox not to aid him. Now, this is the only information I have on this. <laughs> <laughs> now turning to Brother Kolatamox, disappointedly... <laughs> Kalatlmox. Permission to speak, Captain. Kalatlmox's <laughs> poker face is aided by his complete lack of face. Um, I was going to say, sorry, I screwed you on the timeline there because Benji, uh, sorry, K- uh, Koya was doing his thing for three and a half days, and you noticed it like a day and a half, two days after the seven week time, uh, seven week, seven day time skip, which would have put us at was oh, that eight and a half plus three and a half? That is nine plus three, twelve. It is day twelve. Sorry. Uh, like but yeah, it's like you would have had that conversation like th- three and a half days ago, I think. Um, oh, okay. Well, but yeah, that's fine. I, I, you, yeah, you, you say things, that. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, the captain's eyes round on you. Permission <laughs> granted. <laughs> Briefly. Well, the squad was a bit paranoid about the seeming court martial we're in, and. I may have taken it upon myself to attempt to anonymously lift our spirits by sending a message irresponsibly. And who told you you were under court, Marshal? It was surmise from the conditions of our um, freedom. (laughs) He clicks his fingers and uh, Seb is brought, hauled up from the lower decks in chains. Ah, oh, Jeb, hello there. <laughs> Jeb! <laughs> oh, I think rhymes. Seb, Seb, Seb. No, it's, it's small because he thinks it's a new one each time anyway, so he can't tell. He, uh, he pulls his pistol from his side and 
shoots Seb immediately in the chest, <laughs> killing him in oh. one instant blow. <laughs> Am I fist, am I the only one who's really confused here? Uh, I my, think so. <laughs> my fists tense ever so slightly at that. Are you? I am not plussed. <laughs> are, you, I, are, you yeah, really to, are you wanting to say something there, Koya, on the confusion from? No, no, just <laughs> uh, in character. I would have said, "Am I the only one here who's really confused?" The uh, man who was lounging on the chair behind your captain raises a hand. Up close, <laughs> the least I can do for you, you've got a one on your perception, as your all-seeing eyes gaze around the room, <laughs> taking in everything in immense detail. You notice, I know all <laughs> you that know, I can see. You notice that he is not, in fact, a, uh, a tall army trooper. You are looking at a short Astartes out of armour. Quay. Sorry, could you say that again? I said you are not looking at a tall army officer, you are looking at a short Astartes out of armour. Uh, short studies, taller studies. Sorry, oh. I'm not gonna lie. I imagine him having little like you know stilettos inside his shoes. Yeah, I, thought <laughs> I was just thinking of like a squat, but like, yeah, a marine squat. Yeah, a marine squat. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like a rectangle. Yeah, sorry, I screwed, I screwed, uh, I've screwed the presentation on that a little bit. Sorry, so from a distance, he looked a lot smaller than he actually was. Now you're up close, and now you uh, have to look at him as he moves. You see, yeah, no, actually, that is that is definitely an Astartes. He, uh, with his hands still raised. Uh, still raised, stands up. And even unarmoured, he's about as tall, maybe slightly uh, taller than Captain Yatakao, and sort of saunters over to you. Brother Captain, is the squad in trouble? The Captain grinds his teeth and rounds on Nazim. Sergeant Nazim. As a... uh... As an aside, mm. is this marine bold by any chance? He is bold, actually, yes. But that is fairly common amongst Astartes. Mm. 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 I wonder who he is. Mm. <clears throat> Sergeant Nazim. Uh, is this the captain, yes? Yes, this is the captain rounding on you. Okay. Do you admit that you willfully and deliberately caused the plummeting of Venus? No, brother captain. Mm. Now, I, no, no, hold on a second. To clarify... There was no evidence suggesting that the person I shot was keeping the entire city aloft. Uh, I suppose nothing on your end, no. no they, it's not a common thing among our cities or anything like that. Nope. Any technology. None, there is none that you're aware nothing of. Nothing suggesting that killing that man pl would plummet the city, yeah? Therefore, I could not willfully and on purposefully made the city plummet. This is all out of character, just to check. Yes, cool. I am clearing it out of fact to make sure my logic yeah. is straight, and it's not. No, I'm entirely, not being dumb. entirely fair, and you are tracking tracking correctly. He yep. looms over you, and you insist that. Yes, brother captain. His hand strays to his bolt pistol, and the uh, the bald marine clears his throat. I think that's enough of that, Captain Yatagao. If you'd like to report to the uh, hangar bay. Oh, uh, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen this tactic before. <laughs> it's fine. They haven't. It's not that bad. They haven't broken out the big pot. Wait, are they orcs now. The marine. I, uh, that was a reference to Road Trader. Road Trader. Trader. The yeah. marine rounds. Are, uh, the marine rounds. The, the, uh, the tall marine turns the rest of your squad. Brothers, I am from Legion Command. After <laughs> I, I like form up a little bit more. <laughs> after your <clears throat> Vox transmission. Mordrico got in touch with uh, us promptly, and I'm here to oversee your case. I have reviewed the footage, and his eyes glance after the retreating, scowling form of Captain Yatakao. Visible to almost none of you, apart from uh, Koya, who can see him <laughs> clearly in the reflected <laughs> fucking bridge consoles. Just, just gain a permanent point of perception, <laughs> just, just one. I was about to say... <laughs> Do you want me to have awoken as a psyker, but the only thing I can do is look at things really well? <laughs> I use my senescence to see the real things. You can have a, you've got a choice between a permanent point of perception and a talent that's like plus 20 to trying to see things in reflections. Your choice. <laughs> I will take plus 20 to seeing things in reflections. All right, just note it on your sheet. Yeah. <laughs> that one's going to come back to good. bite me. <laughs> Kind of mirror everywhere. I mean, how often do we get a one, right? Like, <clears throat> so the uh, the tall marine, yes, uh, uh, scowl uh, looks after the retreating form of Captain Yatakao. 
Your captain has acted in a most unprofessional manner. And at least as far as the footage I was able to view, it seems as though your squad acted with model efficiency where your company and his eyes scan over the rest of you failed. Your job was to pun uh, punch forwards and per the objective that you specifically were given to neutralize whatever you found at the designated objective, which you did. I therefore have... And he sort of digs around in a pocket for you. Several small presents from command. So far, I'm still angry that juniors are schools at us. <laughs> meditate, Carl. Meditate the hardest you've ever meditated in your life. Don't meditate now. For all of you, uh, you receive a campaign medal for service in the Venusian campaign. It's a purple band with diagonal stripes of blue. That's right. Uh, Venusian. He's, he, uh, Ewan's put it in the, in the chat. Oh, you've actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Cool. Uh, who got any crit damage of any kind throughout the campaign? <laughs> Creed. <laughs> is, it, is it just Creed? <laughs> It's I just great. Young Nicholas by one. Down. Yeah, um. Young Nicholas was on zero wounds. He was about to enter crit damage, but didn't quite enter it. Okay, in that case, for uh, Coatal Box, an award for valor. It's a red heart Ooh. over a field of white. Uh, who burnt a fate throughout this campaign? <laughs> I did. <laughs> an award for, for meritorious. An award for meritorious <laughs> valor. A deep red oh. heart over a field of silver. <laughs> Decorated. <laughs> and finally, who scored the single greatest kill of the entire campaign? This is where we each say we, like, ourselves did it. I, I, yeah, I think like... we all know who has the best uh, kills per bullet ratio here. Yeah, but he said the greatest Ollie, kill, I not think, so. not the most kills. I only did very very well and that yeah, but he didn't get fun. the greatest kill i want to say that creed got it in one session oh, in one sorry, i can't remember why he got i it. did throw a crack grenade right at the psyker's face sorry young nicholas could you mute yourself when you're not talking that's please? that's not that, that imp that's not impress that's not that impressive though I, to be fair, I, Nick, although it's a topic of controversy, he did also shoot the Venus Ender. Yeah, that's what... That I was a pretty big kill. I, I feel like the biggest kill of the Venusian campaign is arguably Venus. Yeah. Yes, but it's, it's one of those ones where I want It's not the sti most stylish. It's definitely not the most stylish, but for the greatest kill of the entire Also, campaign, he wasn't trying to do it. No, that does, it doesn't matter if you were trying, it's a medal. The Terran Medallion, Silver Thunderbolts over a Shield of Gold for your Sergeant Nazim. As oh. well as uh, an official, <laughs> he sort of doodles on you with a pen, epithet of uh, Cloud Killer. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to piss off Legion 6 so much. <laughs> Uh, Holly, you deserve that. I'm sorry I've taken that from you. Oh, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I only punched a root through the beachhead and down several roads. <laughs> it's so well. <laughs> it's cool. It's fine. I'm, I'm only a little hurt. And it's, it's, I'm blaming it on you and not on you. He, uh, <laughs> he smiles at each of you in turn. And now that's out of the way. We will be dealing with Captain Yatagao and his actions internally. Not least some distasteful opinions with regards to uh, manpower allocation. As a result, you will be needing a new command squad. Thank you, Tiny Drumroll. A rating in the background suddenly realises that, oh no, I wasn't doing that in my head. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to turn around, please, gentlemen. I snap sure. around. Yeah. I'll turn. Yep. <clears throat> yep, turns around. <laughs> it's nice knowing you all. <laughs> Why would they kill us now? <laughs> <laughs> and Koya, Koya who out feels, of character. Koya who feels like so ludicrously in tune with his senses right now can can <laughs> tell from the mere posture of the several dozen battle brothers arrayed in front of you that uh, they very clearly like we're not expecting any of this. Probably <laughs> 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 <clears throat> well, third company, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Third company. May I introduce your new command squad 
And, and he clasps his hands on either side of uh, Nazim, your new captain, Nazim. Does no. that make us the O2, the O2, O1, O3, O1? Yes. <laughs> no, because we wouldn't be the first squad where the command unit of this. We're not a designated line squad, so we're the command unit. So Technically, uh, our designation is not a squad within it. We are just the company. So we're just the O2, O1, O3 then? Yeah. Yeah. I suppose you'd be zero zero. Yeah, we're, zero, not, yeah. we're not a line squad within it because we're not expected to carry out line operations. I, I have a strong that. feeling that the Imperial forces will abandon this designation almost immediately after the Sol campaign is concluded, as it's horrifyingly <laughs> confusing in the heat of battle. <laughs> I mean, we'll go for the Ultramarines thing, where we'll paint all of the bosses' helmets red. They're uh, they're still warborn at the moment. I also think that's not a thing yet. I th- that's not till it's not till Cal. Yeah, I was hey. going to say like it, it's it, they they do they do do it after they get Gilliman back, but it, it's. Eh. You no, it's, it's, specific, it's specifically Cal. <laughs> it, it's well into the heresy they start doing it. No, but before that, it's a punishment, is what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So, yes. And I think that's probably a good spot to a good spot to, to leave the narrative ready for our ready for our skip next time. Um, if everyone would like to gain three renowned points for finishing everything. Uh, Where do we record renowned? these renowned points? I have no idea. Or is that fame? There's fame, yeah. I think it says renown in the book. Uh, it might be in. Uh, uh, you know what? Whatever. We can we can come back to it. Um, I will I will give you your post session rewards. I suppose a lot of them now actually. Uh, it's requisition, but that's not the same. You thing. use renown for tracking requisition, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Damn it. Cool. It's something with fame. I think it leans into fame. Reminders for next campaign. Anything anyone wants noted down? Look at me. I am the captain. Out. <laughs> you were waiting the last ten minutes. To say that, I want you? me. I want to get me a power sword. Uh, oh, and also a wrist-mounted bolt pistol. I don't think they make those right now. I got the most medals. <laughs> you did with three <laughs> for bad things. Every, uh, everyone for else, ba- I got the worst one. For the for the I record, got the I got one for our legion. What are you on about? You got the terrible you got the- medallion. You're the cloud killer, man. That's um, saying. Our legion is literally about proving we're the best and hunting the greatest of game, and you got the medal for doing that the best, and you went, I got the worst medal! Oh yeah, and it was but also it, like killing oh. big things with the smallest weapons, so he like killed oh, an yeah. entire city by just killing just a guy. A, a world. Like, he killed a world <laughs> yeah. with a freaking bolter. I don't th- I <laughs> That's it's exemplary. Gonna be, it's going to be difficult to top that one. I think you might technically hold the record for quite a while. <laughs> yeah, we don't right. really want to beat that one. Uh, I'm no longer using uh, my actual weapons. I'm just going to walk around with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Full warrior monk. Um, what the fuck were we at there? So, okay, so Koya wants a power sword. Uh, sorry, what was it after that, Benji? What was your next reminder? Oh, uh, a power sword and a way to get a uh, a bolt pistol strapped to my, the arm. You're going to have fucking combi bolters so quickly. I don't even... Nope. It's not important. Uh, any other reminders for next campaign? Research uh, strange uh, tech lightning that they had? Uh, that will actually be um, revealed to you in the great... Ah, psychers are, uh, are a thing and we're going to use them, but it's okay because they're still science a thon press conference thing that the Emperor will have at some point. Can I have deck me out with Terran Cybernetics? Uh yes. I will probably do that in the like between next session and now, I think. Alright. Any any other reminders? Um when do our specialities like get officiated? Uh there will be a time skip of ten years between this campaign and the next, so you will have access to all of your speciality, like everything next uh, campaign, which is next week, other than young Nicholas's psychic hood, which he has agreed to forego because the librarian doesn't, uh, librarius doesn't exist yet. Uh, I suppose technically his force weapon as well. But in exchange for that, he gets access to any three psychic powers from any of the regular Space Marine books. He doesn't get them automatically, but he has the right to purchase them. So he can pick and choose any he likes. Thank Dirty. I, I, I couldn't even slightly make out what that was supposed to be. <laughs> Oh, bang tidy. Oh, bang tidy. I've never heard that phrase before, but it sounds fun. Hmm. You're not. Cool. Any other reminders? Um, oh, yes. Um, 
thank uh, Mordraco. Uh, okay, <laughs> I mean it's fair to assume that you you maybe have thanked him thanked him off screen yeah, for alerting the authorities to your plight. Sharpish. Um, can we make it a thing that all of Brother Captain Nazim's armors are officially inscribed with Cloud Killer? Because I know it's currently <laughs> just marker pen. It's not even marker pen on his armor. You weren't marched up in armor. It's marker pen on like the shirt oh, he was wearing when he was arrested okay. for court martial. That's <laughs> not actually a bad idea because remember our legion at this point in time is still very close with the custodies, and the custodies have a tradition of giving names for great deeds. So it would make sense that our legion would sort of emulate them in that. All right. So legion so for great deeds, you would earn a name. So he would now be forever be Nazim Cloud Killer. Okay, so the legion, is marking, the legion is marking their great deeds on their armor. Uh, what? Uh, anything else? Nope. Cool. Okay. Good. Good spots then. Um, cool. I think it's probably entirely valid if there's a, a moderate amount of negative stuff that people want to bring up here. <laughs> but uh, feedback. Anything you liked? Anything you disliked? Anything you'd like to see more of or less of next time? I liked Seb. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Party goblin, then immediately executed. Oh, well, you actually, terrible. like, they blew up his chest, so if you really want to have him rebuilt, you probably can. I was going to suggest to him to replace his flesh like those nice Mechanicus and stop being just a little human. <laughs> do you want, do you you see, me? Seb, the flesh is weak. Do you want so me to not? add, like, mecha uh, mechanical Seb body <laughs> to the reminders list and assume yes. you've had that sort of, okay. Put slash servitorization question mark. You can you can pick one of the other because his brain oh. wasn't harmed, so you can. Bring one to it add well, to if, the... if we can't save him well enough, you know. One to add to the remin rem add, uh, one to add to the remin uh, one to add to the reminders. Yep. Sorry. Um, rebuild with new auxilia the whatever <laughs> whatever regiment we lost on Venus. Australians. Oh, you'll get assigned new, uh, new. Yes, auxiliary. but we will rebuild that specific regiment. <laughs> they no, will I'm live sorry, again. Uh, you get allocated things by the Minotaurum doesn't exist yet, but whatever exists in their uh, Malkador. Malkador will assign you what you get. <laughs> Can't argue with the Sigilite. Get fucked. <laughs> no Australians. <laughs> if we ever do only war and you fuckers play Australian regiment, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> right, mate. <laughs> Scree. Um cool. Any other any other feedback? Um, um <laughs> I like the ad met guy like uh fucking uh, I'm trying to think think of oh, El right Screechy words. Boy. Yeah. yeah but, uh, <laughs> I'm I know it's dumb, but I'm so down for like let's just have the ad mech be the Dunmer. <laughs> I liked him. I mean, that's Brilliant. kind of all they, they've always been, right? <laughs> really? Actually, so I there's, a lot, there, there, there's definitely similarities. The, the like, casual racism angle. <laughs> it's, it's often more justified for the Admech than it is for the Dunmer, though. Like, the, the, the Admech are, are dicks out of, in many ways, necessity, whereas the Dunmer are just bastards. And <laughs> you, you can't really justify it other than they're dicks. Hey, the ad the Admex are dicks, guarding ancient secrets that only they really know about, raised in an environment that is the most cutthroat competitive environment in the entire Imperium, where literally everyone is out to get you. <laughs> like, old Dead Man's Boots is the preferred promotion method within that fucking place. But the Dunmer are just like, yeah, slaves are pretty great, because we've always had slaves, why would we not want them? And And constantly slave rape people and do lots of other horrible things. Uh, I, like, I ever heard, Dunmer, the ever heard of Forgewell Grier? <laughs> you are being liberated. Huzzah! By Forgewell Grier. Oh no! So, um, um, any other feedback? So, I, I think I think it's very clear that most of us are just waiting for the thing to happen with the sergeant at the end. Um, and I guess it kind of felt like the session dragged because of that. Yes. Uh, I, it I, took me a while for it to sink in that we might actually be in danger. <laughs> yeah, I think... Like Even there though there were a lot of signs, I was like, are we really in danger? <laughs> yeah. I thought there was, like, there's, some, there's some level of plot armour that something wasn't there. I was like, oh, whoops. I was like, little, I've really, like, dug this hole, so... The it point took where quite it was a while for that to come around, I think, and by the time that was, like, you know, a group realisation, we were 
two hours into the session or like an hour and a half into the session. Yeah, like the, the point like it, like it drags. The point that was confusing for me, right, was I so I thought you were just having a bit of fun doing the like, haha, we won't engage with the plot hooks, this will be fun, as I like throw them at you going, Oh fuck, they're gonna die. Oh fuck, they're really gonna die. What <laughs> fucking I've given you so many no 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 hang on because you you did get it eventually and then there was the grand realization and the squad went oh oh no it's like, okay cool great we're at a point of agency here and then people kind of genuinely or generally argued themselves down from a like oh okay we're in actual danger to let's wait and see i, I guess that's partially because you the, it's unclear how many actions we could take to prevent whatever's happening. Like, like to be fair, like it is something you have to come up with yourself. I think um, it's just when you're when the story has been described as such that you're completely confined with no access to to most things, uh, and you are in a lockdown. How do you effectively get the message out? And it did happen eventually, but it wasn't. I guess suppose one. It was obvious we were. In, it wasn't that obvious that we were actually maybe in danger at the beginning. And two, it wasn't then obvious how to get out of that danger. Yeah, from. you you had one. You had to find your own way out of danger. That was the idea. And and two, you weren't completely confined. You had basically free run of the ship. You weren't allowed on the bridge. Your captain wasn't speaking to you. And uh, what's it called? Um, you weren't allowed access to the Vox network. You you wouldn't even have had really issues with like the weapons training thing if the admec hadn't been told to not give you your armor recordings and then um fucking coatlmox kept poking them and eventually they got so pissed off that they just went screw it they're going to be killed anyway let's just not give them anything uh and which tipped off koya going wait a second something's wrong here we need to do something about this no we don't we need to do something about this no we don't Oh, fuck it. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die as an Astartes. <laughs> Something might be wrong here. Not listening. <laughs> yeah, I, I I take the feedback, and I think I could have I could have breadcrumbed aspects better as well. I think maybe it's, it was yeah, also, like, I, I think I said about three or four times after a point that, like, you're going to die in a black site, you will all be killed, unless Imperial Justice goes really well. And people I mean, kind of went like, oh, Imperial Justice yeah. is going to go well. That's great. But I do recall at the very beginning of the session mentioning about a certain challenge for hooks being taken or not, and I did just straight up say suicide. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's like I, that's partially what I was thinking and why I was being so lax with hooks. So I was thinking, ah, this is I fucked myself here. I've said I don't mind derail yourselves, her, der, der. Uh So, <laughs> but <laughs> then accidentally baited you into killing yourselves, which is which is why I, I didn't really hold it against your at I, all I, at the first. I, 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 I did try. Like a, I, I did, did try to avoid our fate. You did try. Oh, yeah, I, I guess I have like a little bit of, of, of player feedback. D this isn't, and I know this is rich coming from me, but, but Benji, when um, what, what was sometimes happening? You were interrupting people and then going off on a tangent. Which yeah, I think I've, I've got a bit happening. of. It's happened again. <laughs> 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 I, I think I've got a slight lag on my connection tonight. So mm -hmm. often I get people saying a sentence and then it doesn't pick up when they keep speaking. So uh, my bre so in my system they've stopped. And then halfway through me me doing my reply, it'll start again. Yeah, so that's fair enough. That's fair. I, I, I watch for you it, it. But yeah, it's just because then because then you go off on a tangent sometimes, and then that would sort yeah. of not derail, but kind of like you know extend things out. But that that was all. And I know it's rich coming from you talking about interrupting people. No, uh, I, I, I think it's I think it's it's fair to give feedback though, right? Like that's what this session is. What this section is for, and that that felt respectfully delivered to me. What were you gonna say, Chris? Yeah. Uh, I did actually um, enjoy the situation we were in and the lull where we didn't know what was happening. I <laughs> it was quite fun while we were all just like innocently, before we'd even got any hints, just going about our day, planning what we might do on our ship to Terra. <laughs> like we realised we're all caught, Marshall. Unironically, <laughs> I think maybe the highlight of the session for me was you going, are we under house arrest? <laughs> because that made the whole thing go from like, oh, this has been a really obvious, ah, fuck, I, I done goofed myself too. Oh, Oh, wait a second, they've suddenly realized the gravity of the situation. <laughs> and, and I didn't think you were all going to be so, like, other than obviously, you know, Koya, I didn't think the rest of you were going to be quite so, um. Last I, I, I fair about the situation. No, I hate, to, I hate to say, I hate to set the precedent, but I didn't think the rest of you were going to be quite so loyalist. I didn't think when confronted with people telling, uh, with your higher ups telling you, well, maybe you should die, um, 
but not in so many words because then you might fight back that you you just quietly go along with it i i, I was genuinely prepared my expected thing that was going to happen there was i thought you were going to go boost a shuttle and see if you could get over to a different ship uh. <laughs> this good space marines in, in my head we were just like waiting for an investigation to finish politely yeah yeah <laughs> that's what was going yeah. on yeah yeah, totally. But I said the black side thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> note to self. Never yeah, but you also, like, you, might... say, it, you also like insinuate things in our heads sometimes. And stuff. A lot. I do. Yeah, yeah, art, no, I, I, to... I think you kind of shot yourself in the foot there, Ewan. Wait, so my attempting to make you doubt yourself made you believe in the Imperial... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Everything it's the boy who, who, cr- cr- uh, who cried wolf. Everyone turned out fine. No, it's the opposite of the boy who cried wolf. Oh no, it is the boy who cried wolf. Yeah. For yeah. <laughs> 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 everyone, okay, cool. I think it was a good session. I think we got good stuff out of it, and there's good there's good feedback here for later. I will bear this in mind next time I try to do fun plot twists. Oh, sorry, uh, <laughs> this type of plot twist because that is a. That is a thing that I, I'm not so good with mysteries. We all know this. <laughs> and I, I shouldn't have thought, oh, it's fine. I'll just add in a speedy mystery to bulk out the player ca- the player time a little bit. This will be fine. Okay. <laughs> well, well, when, when we were being interrogated by our like captain, captain, for yeah. a while, I was like, oh, no. Were we just waiting to receive medals? And I sent that box out, and now we're all going to die. That was my <laughs> line of thought right up until. <laughs> to be fair, I think if you hadn't sent that Vox out, we probably would have ended up just being shot in the head. Yes. Well, uh, no, they're bolters, so they like sent a ma- They would have sent a mast you. What would have happened if we had tried to make a go for the guy's gun? <laughs> for the we were surrounded gun. by battle brothers in full armor with weapons. We are unarmored. We would be dead. I know. Yeah. If, you, if you'd if you marched up to the bridge to do it, you definitely would have died. If you'd resisted, they they just would have cut you down. Uh, if you'd resisted, like in Benji on the floor or you guys um, in in your barracks, then I, I would have let you roll for it, but it would have been quite difficult. I would have expected like either burnt fate or maybe a fatality or two. Uh, but you might have had a chance. It would have then like gone, okay, the next five and remaining five, uh, the remaining four sessions of this Chronicle Chronicle campaign will be you crawling around the vents, waging guerrilla warfare until you get into terror and can escape into a dock <laughs> to go explain the reason why you've been murdering people in the vents for the last X days. Look, we're taking uh, this all the way to the top. <laughs> we, we are the vent tigers. Yeah, well, that, that, that was basically what I resigned myself to was, ah, fuck, I've put them in a situation where they've deliberately killed themselves deliberately or unwittingly kill themselves so we're going to have to do a like emergency order 66 segment and see how that goes and then and then i get the like the shining hope through of creed going maybe i will just speedily speedily hack yeah. a little cheeky cheeky vox cheeky vox you know <laughs> not that it wouldn't be fun to do the vent section you know but like <laughs> That's just when you feel a month of playtime slip away to fucking vent shenanigans. <laughs> uh, I get so many um, trader flashbacks. Any final words I, of feedback? Uh, I have got a quick uh, reminders that I realised because I, I was like, oh, I don't know what's something. I don't know what it was. Uh, but I, like everyone else was talking about equipment and so forth. Uh, I'd like to try to get a power fist. Cool. Possible. We'll uh, we'll do requisition at the start of the next one. Basically, okay. we want power weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a, a force fist? <laughs> no, they don't make them. Yeah, I think we have chain fists as an option. There's, yeah, chain fist. Fist. You, you have, there's, there's chain fists, but those are Terminator only weapons. I can't, I can't just like, get a force staff and kind of just bend it round a few times and <laughs> like a knuckle duster? Ewan, can you do the, uh, Ewan, can you do the ad make voice? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping you were going to say tech heresy, but you know, you that works too. Drinker. I mean, it all I, ma- it it feels all- like my Dunmer has gone downhill. <laughs> Just a bit. I need, yeah. to, I need to work on it. Um, maybe my lungs are, are not in a great state. Anywho, maybe they're right. Damn it! Questions? Anything anyone was narratively unclear on in that session? Is everyone following the plot? Uh, and I guess any final campaign questions as well for Venus? If anyone wants anything. Uh, Yakatao's dead, right? Oh yeah, yeah. He he got walked off, and then like. So he was going to give you over to Legion Six, and he got given to Legion Six instead, along with his his command squad. 
How are you? <laughs> so, I was expecting him to just get space. That's so much work. Yeah. When, 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 they, when you said like a hangar, I was like, oh, there goes the space. So oh, why, um, did they, why did they kill him though? Because I, I mean, I, I don't. Why did Legion see... Six? Because Legion Six blames everyone else for uh, the fact that they uh, like Venus plummeted on them and they lost like a third of their marines, and they they wanted to kill someone. Um, and Yakatau was terrified that like, oh fuck, they're gonna find out it was us because they'll they'll someone will rat at some point so i need to have people to hand over uh, someone will appear on a ship with the name cloud killer and put two and two together yeah exactly right like <laughs> it wasn't actually just you under a vox injunction it was the entire ship for the record uh oh. for, for this exact reason that's also why they stopped call, like started calling you cloud killer then stopped calling you cloud killer as well so they were told like, shut the fuck up cut that shit out but don't tell them you're cutting that shit out um <laughs> thingy what was i gonna say uh yes what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yes. So, um, and what happened is then he was handed over to Legion 6 instead and told like, oh, but yeah, this is the guy who was leading the efforts that resulted in this happening, which from their point of view is just as good. Well, I was guess, why did they kill the captain? Is it just the bald guy wanted to have a new command squad in place and he needed someone he could rely on? Or well, is I mean, it, as, 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 as Benji said, you know, Legion leadership would absolutely never stand for like you handing over your Legionnaires like that. What, what, the, what, the, what the fuck kind of captain is that? Not to mention the fact, like, did you see his performance? Well, mm. he's, remember, he's the guy who gave us our mission briefing, so he didn't brief us about any and all potential threats. Remember, I asked at the mm. briefing yep. about any and all information we needed to know. He didn't give it to us. We got to the objective when the rest of the command didn't get there, because clearly he didn't give them good instructions to actually get there, and or they didn't have weaponry. Remember, yeah, it can possibly be blamed on them, but he is in charge, and if only one squad of his entire command yeah. makes it to an objective, doesn't reflect very well on him. I mean, you, you had the tactical <coughs> markers up and everything. If you recall, like the rest of Third Company barely made it beyond uh, the landing zone Mirandus. So yeah. you, you got, not only did you guys get that far ahead of everyone else, like he, he was actively behind the rest of the second, most of the rest of yeah. the Second Legion uh, detachment mm -hmm. was with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like... Uh, Someone fucked up badly. And, and not only that, the moment that the, it all went to shit and it came out that, oh god, we killed Venus, he tried to cover it up. Immediately tried to cover it up. Yeah. So yeah, so someone... He not only tried to screw the Legion over, he tried to screw the Legion over directly in terms of manpower and reputation. So someone was going to take the fall for this, and he was very much aware that if it wasn't you, it was going to be him. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I quite like. I quite enjoyed the. <laughs> was it you? Did you do this on purpose? I was like, no, I'm not lying. It's like, are you sure? I'm like, no. And he's like, oh fuck, no, please. <laughs> yeah, well, that was his like last ditch. Oh fuck! If if they maybe just are really dumb and honest as they've been and quietly like this whole time quietly sat in house arrest, then maybe they'll just admit to this, and I can show that it's not my fault, and then I'll be fine. <laughs> But no, no. Like, he, oh, no. Yeah. He, he saved your loyal. He saved your loyal. Sorry. He saved your loyal surf to blow him up in front of you to try and get you to to uh, break, not realizing that only one of you actually gives a shit about the surf. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Ollie. What were you gonna say? I was going to say that I'm glad Nick came to the same line of thinking I was thinking, because I was like, no, Nick, don't say that we did it. Say, do the lawyer answer. Say no, then explain why. And you, yeah. I'm so happy you did that. Were you, were you <laughs> going to say something a second ago, Carl? Uh, possibly, but I, the thing that I was waiting to ask is separate. Fair. Uh, any, any other narrative questions, then? Okay, then. Um, how does our rival squad feel about us being promoted to a command squad? I mean, that, that depends on the command squad's feelings. What happens to the rival squad when you're promoted to command? This was a complete surprise to everyone else in the company, remember. Shall we um, merge them into the, the 20th or whatever it is? Yeah! <laughs> the guys who have sorted us. Yes, <laughs> yeah, so you like, give the 20th the shittiest jobs possible. Immediately... No, no, no. Condensing everything down to ten-man squads and to make up the gaps. Okay, yeah. So they're not too happy as they're immediately demoted down to the lowest possible squad. <laughs> you have squads one through nine and squad twenty. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Just they. The old captain was clearly slack in training and preparation for missions. We will not be. 
Yeah. We're about to run a lot of training drills. Yeah. <laughs> we, 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 like, we rebased everything. We, we, we were like, everyone's the same level now. Like, let's redistribute everything. I'm going to stroll right into that Mechanicus chain. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go... This aspiring tech up. marines on the command crew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> any, any other narrative questions? Nope. Cool. So... So, what was the name of the bold space marine from Legion Command? Hmm? I think I know what it was, uh, but what do you have it as? Let me have a look. Where is my notes? <coughs> Actually, he started off pretty promptly, and you mm. didn't uh, you didn't poke him for anything. He stayed yes. just long enough to authenticate everything, and then uh, started off with Captain Yatago and his command squad in tow. I'm going to make a safe uh, bet no, and say no, it was uh, Alpharius. Yes. <laughs> even, even in this campaign, he is Alpharius. I don't know who this Alpharius you're talking about is. No, no. He, he's totally not on terror at this point. That doesn't sound like a name to me. <laughs> That's a letter. It's like calling your son Aeus. <laughs> your sister Beus. <laughs> I mean, then you could name them like an equation instead. Aeus plus Beus makes backseat <laughs> make of the cars. Yes, that's not good. That's... Uh, any any <laughs> other uh, narrative questions? Nope. Cool. In that case, let's do some XP. Cool. Plot progression. Does anyone feel like you made any different plot progression this session? And if so, what? We didn't die. And that progressed the plot. Also, our captain died because we progressed the plot. I feel like that's... Yeah. Well. Yeah, we're the command crew now. <laughs> look at, look at that. We are the captains now. You're like the third now? person to make that joke, captain. Ollie. Sorry? Huh? I said you're like the third person to make that I know. joke. I'm fully aware. <laughs> <laughs> it's just um, it's like 20 minutes since it happened, man. I know. Okay, I know. What, I what, just was, what was your other thing that you were asking there? Are we all brother captains now? No. Uh, no. Nazim is the captain. The rest of you Nazim are is- part of his command squad. Okay. I guess theoretically he can demote you, but uh, in practice we're probably not going to let him do that. <laughs> just just for the sake of not splitting the party. Don't you know you always split the party between squads? <laughs> don't don't even Ollie, I I fucking die. Um, <laughs> Run eight campaigns individually. <laughs> character development. Does anyone feel like they developed their characters this session? If so, how? Uh, I was briefly learning to be more tolerant to a human, but then he died, so I guess easy come, easy go. It's okay, you, you had him brought back from death fairly promptly. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll get him back. I learned that I actually, that, that, that my interactions with the serfs actually has a positive knock-on effect. Yeah, you may terrify like 99% of them, but you clearly make the effort pretty consistently, and if even 1% gets through, that's all it takes. Exactly. The fucking 1%ers. I learned that Koya is surprisingly given to I it's not what I thought was gonna happen, but Koya is probably gonna be the one who goes traitor. <laughs> like Whoa. I, I, no, no, you was right, like if we think about how this uh, this camp this episode went down, I was the one going renegade and everyone else was like, I'm sure it's all going to be fine, so uh, apparently when the Horus Heresy comes out, everyone else is staying loyalist and I'm gonna join we're, the train. Yes. I did not see that coming. We're, we're so like I've got the little plan out and we're so far away from the Horus Heresy. I mean it depends how we go with like speeding no. through things. I'm open to ending these earlier than we should, but like I'm also really hyped that we've got so much fucking great crusade to get through and so much dumb bullshit. I got really bored on Sunday at Can't Play Video Games Watch at the moment, so I made like the next two campaigns worth of maps. I may do more after that. No, I, I, I realise it was just the fact that, as you pointed out, <laughs> I was the one who went rogue. I mean, I'm, I'm all down for Traitor Benji. That sounds horrifying. Uh, excellence of roleplay. Does anyone feel like anyone else roleplayed particularly well? Ooh. Um, sorry, can I have uh, one for um, character doodads oh, yeah, uh, sure, on the note you? of um, oh, what you calls it? Um, what's the term? Loyalist. Yes. Um, but also being fairly zen about impending death. <laughs> yeah, I like that Cusco like switches in and out of philosopher mode. When he's in battle, he's a pretty standard battle brother, at least as far as I've seen. He's a bit self interested, but you know that's fine. Or, well, that's at least something that happens, even if it's not fine. Uh, but the second you get back on the ship, he's, ah, yes, the monk part of Warrior Monk. I shall be zen and calm. If there's nothing that can be done, then there's nothing that can be done. 
I should have been muted this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're Nicholas. Expensive roleplay. Uh, I, I, I had one for uh, development. <laughs> okay, you've already hit max for the record, but go ahead. Okay. This <laughs> is uh, Nazim uh, finally starting to think that Koya might be a lost cause in the. Come on, let's just get on. Like, I, I know he would be trying to help, but come on. What? <laughs> it's, he he's got to be like. Is it it's staged. So this is another one of the, the, the thing from last week, right? Where, like, ah, you, you may have been advising the right thing, but it was against my orders. <laughs> it was it's, it, it almost came to blows this time, I felt like. We had a full-blown argument. I, I straight-up challenged yeah, you to an honour deal at one point. Yeah, you did. It's like, I don't have to come up to you. Fuck off. <laughs> with, it was zero, literally with zero the prompting. Only- with zero prompting from me, not only did Benji challenge you to a duel, but, like, fucking Mackie... Uh, Mackie said, are you going to take that by the sergeant? He's really disrespecting you in front of you and, and you just kind of like, did take it. Which could either be ultimate bravery, you know, remaining calm, or could be ultimate cowardice, depends on your point of view. Uh, and, and fucking Coatl Mox was clearly uncomfortable and sodded off at the first opportunity. Like, <laughs> squad tension, squad tension. And he was literally the only one trying to save us all of that. <laughs> I, I didn't even really believe in what I was doing when I did it. And yet, and yet, at the same time, I do see where Nazim is coming from, you know? Like, yeah. he isn't following orders. Just because it worked out this time, it doesn't mean it'll work out next time. Sometimes you've got to trust the chain of command. When will it ever fail you? <laughs> Any other uh, excellence of roleplay? And on the note of... Uh, oh, sorry. Of Vekoya, I think. <laughs> playing an absolutely exasperated I'm just trying to save you dumb fucks why won't you listen to me because yeah I was going to say like the uh, argument between uh, Nazim and Koya like, was uh, very well done in character mm. for that yes I I particularly like the dropping out the vent <laughs> uh, I, so I feel like, I feel like that was well role played wasn't it like that whole <laughs> segment both of you I thought <laughs> um we just pretend we never saw what would happen right in front of us. <laughs> I, I, uh, I quite enjoyed um, Quatermox's and uh, Koya's interactions with the Admech. Yeah, I was going to say, just like nodding along with the Admech, I can just imagine you're like crossing your arms and just be like, yeah, yeah, totes, totes, you tell him. <laughs> just being the hype man getting them with a yeah or what up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking to the dumb mech, anything else? Um, also, um, Quatermox's uh, interactions with um, was it Seb? Yes. Oh, poor Seb. Seb. Or they were like the person like, don't talk. <laughs> like you can talk. <laughs> so, <stop. laughs> he was literally going to tell you everything, man. Like he comes out with this, and and, and <laughs> he asked the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! When may I speak freely? No. <laughs> I, I just randomly decided at the start I don't like humans. So I was going to play to it. I don't have many opportunities. You can't fault the role play. <laughs> okay. How oh, is wow. so fucking alive? He's coming back. He's coming back. He's going to be more gears than man at this point. I think they'll respect him more. <laughs> yeah, he'll he'll progress with us as we get higher and higher. We just bring in the Savitor with us. If you God. reach high enough levels of influence, you can have him mechanized to the point that he becomes Space Marine ish. <laughs> you, you need to a get quick, higher than company level. A quick note: uh, renown and so requisition. Every mission's meant to have a requisition cost that yeah. the GM decides to it. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's like a separate thing. Renown is just uh, a, a point scale between zero and a hundred, and then if a weapon has a renown value, you can you can only get that weapon if you have that amount of renown. Fair. <laughs> mm-hmm. It is in relation to though. I, I can actually find fame in the book. In the index. There is an infamous bit, isn't there? On the on our sheet. Uh, the Infamy index is not Black Crusade. Sorry, I'm just yeah, uh, fame, working Fame doesn't out. exist. But it is renowned. So I make that out to be, and don't freak out too much, 655 experience points for session number 6. 655? Uh, yes. Upgrades. That is... Just said not to freak out. That is uh, 20 points of plot progress, becoming the command squad and surviving your court-martial, which, as mentioned, was a near thing and I would have let you all die if you'd really <laughs> fucked it up. You can always roll new characters, right? Like, I think that's half the reason why the medals might be fun, because as people die, we'll end up with people with like different levels of medals. 
I think do the medals offer some no, bonuses the, as no, well? Those are the ones you were reading for the book the other day, and I'm not giving you like because I want them to be a fun record of shit that's happened in the campaign, right? And if there's a mechanical yeah, benefit, yeah. then that's just not doable. There are version of bucket of bad ideas. Well, no, I want them to be for significant things. In the bucket of bad ideas is some pretty significant events. The bucket of bad ideas is a tired meme from three years ago that you've used maybe four times, Ollie. If you put ideas in the bucket of bad ideas, I would respect it, but you don't. You bring it, it up. You bring it up once every eight months, and that's like you come at me when the bucket's got more than a few drops in it, and we'll talk. Anywho, <laughs> sorry, I have strong feelings about that meme. It had so much potential, and it's been squandered. 30 points. Do it properly from that one. Sorry. 30 points. Character development. Coatlemox learned a mortal's name. Uh, Mackie learns the power of friendship. Koya <laughs> learns that the traitor was within him all along. <laughs> Kuzco is Zen. And Nazim finally starts to realize that Koya may be a lost cause, which drives extremely well with Koya's notes. <laughs> 30 points, excellence of roleplay, Koya's exasperated fatalism, Koya and Nazim's argument, Coatlemox dro- uh, drops out of event onto Mackie, Coatlemox and Koya try to speak to the Dunmec and your general party interactions with Seb, plus 75 standard, plus 500 for the 10 year time skip. That's not going to be per year, we're doing it as a standardized thing from this campaign to the next. Cool. 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 Nice. Which means slightly belated. <laughs> It's time for everyone's favorite part of the session. It's the highlights. Benji, do you have any highlights for that session? Uh, come back to me. I'm doing uh, buying things. That's fair. <laughs> uh, young Nicholas, do you have any highlights for that session? So many. Uh, um, can I speak? No. <laughs> <laughs> Cue like an hour of faffing. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, how do um, I do this? Uh, permission to speak refused, I guess. Sure. All right. Anything else? Um, and look at me. I'm the captain now. It's got a comma in it. Okay, I'm the captain now. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, Anything else? I, I want to phrase the, did you, did you purposely kill Venus? No. <laughs> did you, though? No. Okay, uh, so I did not purposefully kill Venus. Hold the Speedo sketch from Mitchell and Webb. Uh, I, I, don't I did not do it. <laughs> no, no, it, the Speedo sketch is um, Mit- Robert Mitchell pretending to be a lawyer, shouting at someone, screaming, Did you steal his wallet? No. Did you steal his wallet? No. Pulls a gun out. Did you steal his wallet? Oh, yes, yes, I'll do I'll do whatever you say. <laughs> um, anything else in the case? Uh, um... Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> space Marine and events. <laughs> fucking contortionist. I still don't quite. Anything else? Um. Yes, you've been looking at my trophies all day. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, I want to throw this. Um, Seb, you could do recon, right? <laughs> <laughs> He was caught immediately. <laughs> How are you doing, fellow menials? <laughs> I told him to listen. Do you have any of that intelligence? <laughs> so what about them space marines? Oh, yeah. And that and much, am I right? <laughs> it's fine, because now he's presumably king of the menials. <laughs> <laughs> um, I accept- <laughs> um, last one is... Um, are we being court martialed? <laughs> no, it's not that. It was. It was. Are we under house arrest? <laughs> are we under house arrest? It was at that point the squad realised they were under something a little more than house arrest. <laughs> <laughs> Any anything else? I think that's it. Sorry if I stopped anyone else's. But there's just so many. I wanted to get them in. No, that's always fair. Ollie, do you have any highlights for that session? Three day beta fun. <laughs> Or, or no, alternatively, Benji beats up the entire an entire company. He didn't beat up everyone. He beat up everyone who started, who showed up, and people just stopped showing up. <laughs> um, Benji beats up several squads worth of space marines. Um, Anything else? <laughs> in the face of imminent danger, the squad fucks off. 
You didn't really fuck off mostly though. You just kind of like sat quietly in your rooms waiting for death, <laughs> which made sense for Kuzco, the Zen monk, but for everyone else. I read. Also, my life. Oh. I mean, it's not like I can do anything else in this fucking lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> Big rip. <clears throat> Vent friends are best friends. Tell that. So second, this, this isn't a highlight, but I have noticed that at least in every campaign, I think I've now got uh, Ollie's character discovers the power of friendship in like, every single campaign I've been in. <laughs> you often do <laughs> discover the power of friendship. <laughs> happens an awful lot, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> you should really note it down, man. Like, it's not supposed to take this long. You nail this in nursery. <laughs> <laughs> any any other highlights? <laughs> not on my gear list. It's not there. Uh, no, nothing else for me. Cool. Uh, Carl, do you have any highlights of that session? Well, uh, so I'm just clearing off uh, the ones that I believe have already mentioned. Uh, Admet closes shop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking annoying them to the point that they basically tip you off that you're under house arrest. <laughs> Anything else? Can I duct tape a bolt pistol to my wrist? <laughs> Heresy! <laughs> Anything else? I think technically talking ourselves down from being worried about our own executions <laughs> has already been mentioned, I think. I'm not sure. It doesn't sound like if you're typing it. No, I'm, I'm typing. Well, as in, sorry, it's like, it doesn't sound like it's already been. I mean, it has been somewhat, but like I don't think quite in the same way. Uh, and I, I get the sentiment, and I, I feel I have done a decent job of, of conveying that. <laughs> Uh, uh, the similar one. Anything else? Uh, authentic Terran wood prosthetic arm. <laughs> the real flex would be to refuse augmetics for that arm and keep the Terran wood. <laughs> and you are. Uh, you've got to get a nice stain and make sure it's polished at all times. <laughs> right? Like, oh, I intend on keeping it. <laughs> It'll stop me now. <laughs> 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 Get in command, and everyone immediately begins abusing the shit out of the car. <laughs> this isn't a rogue trader. We <laughs> do that. We can be trusted with power, with places of power, honestly. I mean, hypothetically, you could be a space marine and a rogue trader at the same time. I think you'd likely oh. ha have a large group of space marines wanting to kill you, no matter what the circumstances are. <laughs> but there's no legal you reason it can't happen. Get rid of trade. <laughs> Writ of trades do exist. Like, in fact, this is the point where the emperor is signing them out. I hesitate to say it, but yes, the Jefferson family are probably getting their writ of trade in the solar system at the moment. <laughs> we should it's, we should forge same, an alliance yes. with the Jeffersons. We should literally like they are battle buddies. You uh, you you do like that does happen. Okay, oh, that, get... that's. The Jeffersons have, like, like in their bloodline, like, in their history, just, like, like Astartes training. It's, it's a different Jefferson family. <laughs> we wove them into the fucking Age of Strife era history of Ascalon. It's not the same guys. The knowledge is passed down. But, uh, but yes, you can, like, get ancient agreements with Space Marines as a rogue trader, so it stands to reason that, yes, as a Space Marine, you can outsource things like fleet support to rogue traders if necessary. Can can Space Marines ever get a writ of trade? Does that ever happen? There's nothing, I, as far as I know, that's never happened, but uh, there's nothing that stops you giving a writ of trade to a Space Marine. You can give them to literally anyone. Um, or, well, they can be written for literally anyone, rather. The the thing is, you don't have Space Marine out, uh, Space Marines don't really exist outside of Space Marine orders, so you'd need a Space Marine who was somehow granted special dispensation. Um, Wasn't there that bear guy or something like that? The ex Space yes, Marine? He, was, trade he, was on, he was on the run. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you, you could either be on the run and disguise that you're an Astartes, which is possible, um, or the I'll point out he immediately got back into being an Astartes. Yes, and like pulled the old oh we've been here all along chapter Roo, which is more common than you'd think, at least in the law. Um, the only other way that I can think of uh, is Inquisitors sometimes grant themselves it, and it is not unknown for, especially in the Order of Xenos, occasionally Space Marines to become Inquisitors, even if it is incredibly rare. So, hypothetically, the route might be Space Marine to Inquisitor, Inquisitor to Rogue Trader. You know, I'm just kind of imagining that a Space Marine without his helmet on but full armor wearing one of those, like, witch hunting hats. I feel that's delightfully ludicrous. Almost whimsical. So whimsical. I love that Any, word. 
So, Any other highlights? Uh, well? Yeah, I, I got a couple more. Uh, elections. <laughs> I'm so down for the elections. I think it's it's great because now you have to sway the proles. You're gonna have them company battle brothers under you. We're good. It is that I've just picked up a, a talent to make my command tests even better. Yeah. <laughs> when, when you first said like Nazim won, I was like, oh okay. I was just like, I just, I've got one vote. Okay. <laughs> and then I was like Nazim two. I was like, wait, what? Oh, whoa, they're accumulating Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was deliberate, yes. Uh, <laughs> and then Nazim 3! <laughs> ah! <laughs> um, and one more, which was, oh yeah, Captain Cloud Killer Nazim. Captain. I think it's Nazim Cloud Killer, but we can do Cloud Killer Nazim. Uh, whichever way it went round. Captain Nazim, Nazim Cloud, Cloud, Cloud Killer. Killer. Straight out of a Star Wars OC. This is now an Edge of Empire game. Uh, everyone roll complicated dice. To be yeah, fair, it's a really good system. You're not, you're a, I've, I've heard good Jedi. things. <laughs> yes, everyone roll contortionists on a dice that features only Egyptian hieroglyphs. This see will be if you your, become a Jedi. This will be your force rating. Um, any, any other highlights, Carl? Uh, no, those were like, all for me. Thanks. Cool. Um... Creed, do you have uh, any highlights for that session? Uh, I think most of them have probably been taken, but I'll offer this wording and see if I can sneak another one in. S- squad dismisses Koya's salvation. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, why not? <laughs> when you piss off Benji so badly, he goes. To- he has to go to the trading room and punch imaginary menials and space <laughs> until he feels oh, a little oh. bit better. I, I just remember another one once um, Mr. Creed has done. Can you hear that on screen? Oh, sorry, just that one. Cool. Uh, young Nicholas, did you want to say another one? Um, You've got to break them down to build them back up. It was the fact that you said that, and it was so completely lateral to what the issue was, man. <laughs> I think if I don't, I, I can't speak for Benji, <laughs> but at least in my perception of him, I feel like that line killed so much more of his hope than your actual refusal <laughs> to do anything did. <laughs> I tried. I, just, I tried. <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> oh. So, Benji, do you have any highlights for that session? The man with no name. I'm sure he's got lots of names. Any of the highlights. I'm sure he does have lots of names. Is this the guy from High Command? Yeah, yeah. the guy from Legion Command. He was from Legion Command. He had all the proper credentials indicating that he was. How far he is. Oh. I don't know who the fuck that's supposed to be. <laughs> oh. Any any other Christ. highlights, Benji? I can see everything. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you've got that sweet reflection talent now as <laughs> yeah. well, haven't you? Right. Oh, it, it's something I, it's something I put in. I think I put it in the Facebook chat for Darkest Heresy. Oh, I yeah. might have, I might not have done. I might have sent it to our group chat though. Uh, Darren Herrick called. Fucking Patrick Stewart. Uh, no, I else? did. Um, <laughs> no, I think that's it for me. I, yeah, damn, I think I uh, put it in. Okay, R1. I, 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 I don't think I have any extra highlights to add. The the Creed one. <laughs> Are we under house arrest? <laughs> is this going to be my fucking MVP quote? No, okay. Yeah. I, I've got it now. I'll, I'll link it for you in Discord now, Creed. Okay, cool. Thank you all for a very entertaining session <laughs> number six. Uh, That's the wrong bloody channel. Hang on. It's quite a bit under par as well. Any any final oh, words yeah. for the <laughs> <laughs> Any any final <laughs> words for the recording? Just let me save you. <laughs> <laughs>